Hello, hello everybody. We are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity playthrough here tonight. Last time, we went through all of the first adventure outing that we actually had. It was a series of adventures as we went to the Glacial Palace, the Great Glacier and then the Glacial Palace, and then some answers, some mysteries. We met Kurum. It was a thing. It was a whole thing. And it's just like the entire time through, I was just waiting, being like, okay, is something going to happen? Is something ominous going to happen? And then nothing happened, really. And now I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> I, something inside me, some paranoia is just winding like a spring, and I'm just waiting for the dark, dusk noir moment of this game. There has to be something, but it hasn't happened yet. And we also got through another boss fight, which is cool. But I really like the adventures, like, oh, you go out on a series of adventures kind of thing for a prolonged period of time and can also, like, jump back to, like, play as the other companions you've made along the way and, like, the one story important character. It's just, like, it's a cool mechanic. But let us go and see the story so far. The voyage to the Great Glacier was a big success, so Neon's team returned to their regular daily lives. <laughs> Not much in terms of, like, uh, super totally <laughs> recapping. It's not like it's wrong, it's just <laughs> very simple. And how many Orin Berries today? Hmm. I feel like we got three the first time and have just gotten two again and again and again since. But sure. I mean, it's return on investment. I can't complain about it. See what Super Seeds, Berries and Seeds has for us today. Let's see. Blast, Totter, Sleep, Quick Seed. Nothing very important I don't see. And of course, our daily training. Dang it. Oh, wait, no, that was correct. <laughs> I keep pressing too fast. Too fast, too furious. And uh, it definitely is level up the these ones, the high-level ones at home, because I think it guarantees a notch to go up. Whereas, like, uh, out in the field, it might take multiple uses of a high-level move to get it to, like, uh, go up a notch. But with training, it automatically goes. And, like, at the lower levels, moves might more easily, like, level up from use. So, like, Dragon Claw, we don't want to uh, use our 100 Poke Dollars on that, because it's harder to level up Dual Chop than it is Dragon Claw. Maybe one of these times I should make Lock the leader. Although, I'm not sure how that would work. Oh! Grew immensely! That's the first time that's ever happened. I was waiting for it, but I, I, I got to the point where I was just like, oh, I guess that doesn't happen at all. So it was just like, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have a super duper level up. Fun fact, Great Glacier is the top of Mist Continent, the continent this game is set in. And Mist Continent is on the northwest corner of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon wor world map. Hmm. <laughs> that is interesting. Because that is the one cool thing of, like, uh, ba 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 Super Mystery Dungeon that I can't wait to get to is the big old map. Looks like life will be getting back to normal from now on. Let's give it our all. Indeed. Good morning. Well, I guess it's not really morning anymore. Everyone sure had a fun time last night, didn't they? <laughs> we partied. We partied hardied. Indeed. Ba, 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 ba. I guess we'll keep that many. But uh, we don't need this many reviver seeds anymore. Don't really need you or you. I guess we'll put away two. 
Uh, we'll keep the life seed, the iron. <laughs> Silver spike. Not much use for you. What about gold scope? It makes gold bars buried and floor visible. Color me intrigued. <laughs> Color me definitely intrigued. Oh! I just realized it even shows you how many of an item you have in your inventory in the little box icon. I just did not know that at all. I just didn't know it. <laughs> just little things like that. That's cool. We're going to go ahead and mix that up. We'll definitely want to use the life seed and the iron next time. And the gold scope. Info. Let the leader hold it to make gold bar buried under a tile shine and be visible. Also, when the holder steps on a tile with a gold bar buried underneath, that Pokemon can get it. I guess we will give that a shot just because, funny, aha, why not? Let's grind out those gold bars and get those TMs. Also, is your totally legit 3DS still calibrated properly? I think so. Luckily, we've yet to run into any graphical glitches this playthrough, which was not the case for my Awakening, Fire Emblem Awakening playthrough. Ah, uh, the first the first session was graphic glitch hell, and I, we, I, I was talking about that. I missed my boy talking about things. He was actually reacting. Look at his joy. I'm missing his joy because I'm a fool. Your team really is amazing, hmm. To think that you would succeed on such a great adventure. I, hmm, well, hmm. Whoa! <laughs> and immediately back to normal. He's like ECDC from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Just has to get a quick cry out to become normal again. Ah, no TMs for me to buy. Because I have enough money to buy TMs now if I totally desire it. Oh, and speaking of that, I almost forgot. I need to bring out... Well, first things first, let me check my money. I have a decent amount of money that I don't need really to bring out. But we do need to withdraw some treasure boxes. We have so many treasure boxes. I might have to bring out my, my wallet anyway. Because that is a fucking lot of treasure boxes. Do, 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 do. Well, let's talk to everybody then. Uh, my head's killing me. We had so much fun last night, but I just kept on putting away the old berry juice. But still, I can't just close up shop now, can I? Where'd those good-for-nothing timber get off to? Here I am working myself to the bone. You better tell me if you find them slacking off anywhere. I'll whip them into shape. <laughs> All right, berry juice is alcoholic in this world. Well, I guess fermented berries. Your talk yesterday, amazing, shocking, wonderful. Who would have thunk it? A hollow glacier. Amazing. This world really is, you know. V-Wheel! I'll never probably use you because I don't really care to manipulate the V-Wheel. Well, let me see. Is there anything uh, like uh, any lands we need? Uh, we've got all those, but what about buildings? I should probably work towards making oodles of orbs. I actually... Ah, wait, we can make the detour guide. We can make the detour guide. Let's go make the detour guide while we're here before I forget and die inside. Let's see. We should have another spot over on this section. Four for four. Let's call Girder and make oodles of orbs. You want to build a facility here? What facility do you want to build? I need to get back into, like, the voices. But yeah, the detour guide, let's build you so that at least we can start to get informed. <laughs> yes, boss. And then it turns out this is how we enter the, the, the post game. We get teleported all the way there. You fool. I like how all of these basically look the same. They'll probably get upgraded better, but I have nothing to make the... I have no way of upgrading the, the things. Yeah. Ah, a Woobat. Interesting. How many people did you build things for in the past that were just like, Oh, I'm super excited that he's finally back at it, but I'm never going to hire him myself. Welcome, you found your way to the detour guide. Um, info. 
While on your dungeon delving adventures, have you found strange entrances? Entrances that you couldn't go through? Those lead to detours. Rumor has it you can find lots of rare Pokemon and treasure if you take a detour. Makes you really want to check one out, doesn't it? Well, I can help you with that. If you want, I can use my telepathy to inform you when you get to a detour. If that becomes too much chatter for you, you can tell me to stop any time. I want to do all I can to support your detour expeditions. If you upgrade my shop, I should be able to help you even more. If you like detours, stop by often. Huh. During your dungeon expeditions, you're sure to pass plenty of detours. I can ensure you don't miss any by letting you know via telepathy if you're near one. Some Pokemon might find my helpful hints to be a bit bothersome, though, so if you uh, so you can tell me any time to stop notifying. Should I let you know when you get close? Sure, just uh, why not? I have no idea all that much of, like, if it'll be super helpful, but why not? Also, this has lore implications. This implies that Pokemon can, in fact, like, telepathize to you while you're in dungeons. That could have, like, story potential in fanfics. I've never seen that done before, though. <laughs> the lore implications. I know that I got, like, a move that I debated on using or not. Oh, yeah, slam. I was wondering if I should use slam or not, I think. Or was it Leaf Blade? Or did somebody get Slam? I like my current loadout good. Like, current loadout's very nice. <laughs> was that a Zoroa? Yep. We gathered up a Zoroa when we went through some of the dungeons near the uh, Great Glacier. A new traveling salesman has arrived. I heard about your adventure yesterday, Neon. I was so moved. There's no doubt about it. You all are going to have even more fantastic adventures from here on. And using the items from Kecleon's shop, you're going to get stronger and stronger. We'll do our best to support you from behind the scenes. So do your best to support our financial solvency. <laughs> That's an interesting way of putting it, but tell me, my boy, what do you have for me? Uh, Flash. It teaches the move Flash, but how good is that? Uh, well, tell me. It lowers the enemy's accuracy. I miss the old TMs. The old TMs were nice. Your stories yesterday were crazy exciting! Just hearing you guys talk about going to the Great Glacier gave me thrills and chills. It was like I was right with you. Your stories yesterday were crazy exciting. I never would have guessed that the glacier might be hollow. What a surprise that was. To think that there was a great crystal there. It seems it wasn't just hearsay and whispers, eh? Just gotta talk to everybody. Neon, yesterday was so much fun. I'm sorry for heading back early like that. I'm afraid that I suddenly felt a bit unwell. Now that I think about it, yesterday was a bit of an odd day. I was with Rampardos, and I was having quite a fun time when a strange chill suddenly ran down my back. Then I heard the most disturbing voice. Whoa. That's what it sounded like. Confagrius, did you ruin Rampardos' date? Could I have been hearing things? I suppose it must have just been because I wasn't feeling well. But I feel better now, thank you. And the shop is open, of course, so feel free to look around. I can't believe that the that motherfucking gold guy ruined Rampardos' date. Oh, the party last night was gonna be my perfect chance. I was gonna act all natural and catch her alone for a nice private chat. So we, why couldn't I do it? What is it? Where did I go wrong? Fooey, a customer. <laughs> Fooey, I get to bust boxes. Well, I have a ton of boxes for you to break. The sinister box, right? What's this? <laughs> and what do we get? We got gold bar! Yay. You've still got treasure box. I can smell it on you. Uh, sure. Have a light box. Schmiggity smash. Woo! And what next? <laughs> Another gold bar. Okay. Or if all of these have gold bars, that would be hilarious. Schmiggity smash. Woo! And a max elixir. Not bad, but we have a ton of them. We have a ton of max elixirs. We're nearing 50. A pretty box. I wonder if there's a difference between the red boxes and the red boxes. Well, I think I said the red boxes and the red boxes. Red and blue boxes. Get my brain in the game. A gold ribbon. We gotta sell that. Of course, you have a gorgeous box to smiggity smash. Whoa. And a person band. I think that makes it so you can't get poisoned. Or maybe it poisons you forever. Who knows in this world? 
Let's smash. And what is inside? Ooh, trap busting skill. Advice bulletin. Trap busting skill. The trap busting skill is one of the team's skills. If you learn the trap busting skill, you sometimes break traps you step on instead of activating them. That's very nice to have, since we just got traps coming in. So a chance to not be affected, even though there hasn't been a trap that I'm like super scared of. Nice to have the ability to uh, smack back a little bit. Next, another gold bar. <laughs> Depending on how good the, the gold sensing glasses are, we might be speed running our TM acquisition. Another gold bar. Confagrius is gonna stalk us home. Confagrius is going to blackmail us for our gold. And finally, another person band. I just feel I'll have to look at the person bands because if they're just, ooh, you're immune to poison, they're kind of meaningless to me. Yeah, oh, prevents the confused status. Slightly more applicable, but at the same time, still not really, like, all that good because all it does is be like, uh, Certain Pokemon can't fuck with you no more. Also, I think we kind of sort of recuperated our box-busting endeavors ever so slightly. And 33 gold bars. Let's go talk to more people. <laughs> Rampardus is definitely snorting something in those boxes. He gets the cocaine. We get the gold. Thank you so much for sharing your stories yesterday. It was so much fun. Please forgive us for barraging you with questions right after your long adventure. You must have been very tired. Please do take it easy for a while, hopefully. It would be very mean if the world went and now everything goes to hell. <laughs> what? You mean you do not know where I was? I was watching you from afar, of course. You did not even detect my presence, did you? <laughs> Watching from afar is also quite thrilling. Ah, oh, great, he's a voyeur. When I keep perfectly still and just stare at you all, I can see all kinds of things. All kinds you hear. <laughs> Welcome to the glorious gold. Well, I guess we might as well look and see what kind of things we can get again. We can get Reviver Seeds, but that's... Well, it depends. If the exchange rate of money to Reviver Seeds is, like, equal with gold bars, this means that uh, a gold bar should be worth 1,600 Pokey. Because Reviver Seed is 800. But, like, uh, these flags would be cool, but they need to be carried. But at the same time... Hmm from getting paralyzed, from in sometimes helps endure critical hits, boost the power of nearby teammates' moves, from getting poisoned, from from falling. Oh, power from falling. I'm just like, what, you just... Just do that? No idea about, like, the those. But we are still saving up to get these. Because, like, I have no idea what I would replace with Energy Ball. Probably Leaf Blade, depending on its actual power. And Dragon Tail would be nice, depending again. But I just want to save up and get them. Because I think that'd be a nice addition to our collection of power. And nobody here? I think, honestly, it might be a safe bet to go into Swana's Cafe first. Rather, well, apparently everybody just conked out. Everyone's asleep. Which is hardly surprising, partying until morning like that. Aren't you tired out, Neon? You've only just made it back, and you're up for getting back to work already? I guess you could say we're workaholics. Then again, it's not like there's an entertainment district of this place. <laughs> there's not a red light district. There's only mystery dungeons in this world. I'm flying. It's the power of the great crystal. I feel so light and fluffy. It's so comfortable with this power. I could go anywhere I want. I shall embark on a journey like this. Farewell, poor stone. I've always thought that Gerda and Ducklet are a bit offensive. And now I don't ever have to see their faces again. 
Farewell, post town. Fare thee well. <laughs> Falcons, girders, and ducklet offensive. If there's a hole, I want to crawl into it. Ooh, Verizian. Where are the stones? Come on already. Well, that's a weird dream you're having. Yes, I finally made it to the Grey Glacier. Well, that's a basic dream. Good for you. What? I look like that? I dare you to repeat those words. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? I'm the mighty ducklet feared by the bad guys and adored by the ladies. You got that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but please... Don't tell the boss that we're here. We're just so tired that we take turns sleeping here to get enough rest. But the instant that the good crew gets a job, I'll be sure to slap this fellow awake and bundle him back off to work. <laughs> I guess we already did that. My apologies. <laughs> we did it. The boss finally recognized our skills. Guess there's nothing left for him to teach us, eh? I figured it'd be a good idea to keep working hard without slacking. But I kind of miss the good old days when we get knocked for a loop. Maybe he'll give us a few knocks for old time's sake. <laughs> Alright, so he's a masochist. Oh, hello, you two. I really owe this room a lot, you know. Thanks to my stay here, my wounds have all had time to heal. And now we finish the undercards. And went to the place you wanted to go all this time. I just finished cleaning up around here. I wanted to show my gratitude, or something like that. <laughs> Ain't that a mood? It's like, I want to do something, but I don't know what. But I like, I like running around this town, just talking to people. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mulga staring off into the distance. I wonder if we're going to see those sparkling lights. I almost forgot about the sparkling lights that give me paranoia, paranoia. <laughs> The Rock was horny. Not Dwayne The Rock Johnson playing a rock. It seems your quest to the Great Glacier was a great one. I shall not lose either. I must do my utmost. That's it. When I grow up a bit more, I'm going to go to the Great Glacier too, just like Neon. We're already becoming role models. Well, we did save the kid. Oh, I'm going to go to the Great Glacier too. Me and Swadloon are definitely going to go together someday. Good for you. You can't see him today or anything, but while you're all at the Great Glacier, you could see lots of lights in the sky. Especially from up here on this hill. I'll let you guys know if I see any of them, any more of them. Again, if they're if they're yellow and golden, fear. Fee fi fo fa fear enters my soul. Well, I guess I'll put away my power band, since we're going to be putting on the gold scope for this next expedition. I guess we'll grab a slumber orb. Wait. I guess, yep. Yeah. A slumber orb just in case we get into a bad situation. <laughs> How did the devs get away with that line? I don't know. Seems pretty tame, all things considered. He is a rock. Alright, first I need to check and see. Is there any materials I want to work towards? Let's see. Oodles of orb, sturdy vine, and fresh herb. Vine and herb. Vine and herb. We'll begin at the end. Ah, we could get our two sturdy vines right away, punishing Zebstrika. Zebstrika. Wait, hardy vine? Oh, we can get next level items. So I need to check, uh, double check. This is sturdy vine. Correct. Sturdy, not hardy. We don't want the hardy boy vines. We want sturdy vine. Heavy lumber, so we can get secondary things up in here. Ba, 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 ba. 
Unbreakable Rock. Again, can't be that unbreakable. I guess... We'll go fight that, uh, Zeb Stryka and get that Sturdy Vine, I guess. Well, wait a minute. Wasn't there one... Huh, interesting. For some reason, this one is paying 300. Well, this one's like, these ones are too... F hmm, they're all over the place. Well, punish the Mencino pack. All right, interesting. But, uh, Redland Reaches. I don't remember that, but let's go punish Zeb Strike, I guess. So you're gonna go head off for the job? Somebody catch the crook? I keep forgetting that we can talk to you. The quest gate is now open. Good luck with your job. Let's see, do you have anything to say? The stories you told us yesterday were fantastic. I can't believe the amazing adventures you all have. Nope, I just wanted to talk to you. Oh, wait, I need to... Don't want to go just yet. I need to make sure my team's good. And then I guess we can talk to Scraggy, see what he has to say. Met at the party. Well, the team I won is still here. Umbreon and Espeon, because I like my evolutions. <laughs> yeah, fair, but the implication was something. I mean, the last game literally had an entire plot point about the hero and partner being pseudo-suicidal and literally needing to be talked out of their suicidal funk. And I also should probably... Hmm, but at the same time... These things aren't that scary. I'm gonna keep my money on me. I'm not that scared. No balls. I have balls. I'm not scared. I don't know what was going on yesterday, but that was some kind of party, right? Ugh, didn't even get home till morning and my head's killing me, yo. I want to take the day off, but SOMEONE would never let me hear the end of it. Guess I've got no choice. Let's get, just get this over with. Again, the fact that there are two implications of alcohol is what really gets me. Just like straight up alcohol in this world. Or I mean belly juice. Well, hello, monster. Leap leg! <laughs> Ooh, this is... We haven't been here before, but this is some music. You, you motherfucker. And you use protect, you bitch. Quit using protect, you whore. You are a motherfucker. Please die. Ba-ba-ba... Right, just a barrage of enemies, I guess. Ba, 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 ba. This is some nice music. I forget if it's been reused from like somewhere else in the game. Maybe that like uh, the place that we saved Espeon from. I could see that place. But this is some good music. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Just like the music in these games are just fantastic. Well, I guess we can. Well, I guess uh, let's just come up here and uh, begin annihilating. Because we can. A little bit of experience goes a long way. Ba -ba. You've chosen a poor idea. Die! Leap Blade! Da, 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 da. I love this segment of the song. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, I forgot! I'm an idiot! I forgot to put on the gold scoop! <laughs> Would have been hilarious if it was just right in front of us the whole time. Vine Leap Blade! You motherfucker. Ba -ba. 
And, of course, Trubbisher here, because I can't get free of these motherfuckers. And, uh, of course, you got two chances to annihilate me, you bitch. How do you survive? Just a, a pure chaos back here. I'll take that escape orb. Ba -da -da -da. Ba Cause now I want to look over all these big rooms for potential gold. <laughs> with the way things worked out there, it almost looked like Espeon hit me with the future sight. Go ahead and get rid of that accuracy problem. How dare you. The only, like, use I could see for, like, uh... Pro detect and protect is, like, against enemies with, like, bind where they power up for a turn, you use yours, they hit you, but do nothing. Like, that's the only thing I can think of. Ah, I, I don't want to be poisoned no more. Let's move on. You know, when I hear vo the voices for the characters, my mind would read them in my head with these voices when I played. Not as strong as Grovile's Leaf Blade. Nope, my Leaf Blade, not that good. <laughs> but if I read that correctly, always happy to... Have my voices be good enough where you're like, ah, this is now the default voice. <laughs> Always happy to provide nice voices for people. Get pursued! I guess you could call that pursuit trivial. <laughs> wow, your super effective is terrible. Die. Sucks to be you. And you're at a dead end, too. Vine! My Vine Whip missed, how dare. And then Espeon Kill stole me. Vine Whip. Ba -da 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 -da. Love this game and the songs and everything. It's a grand old experience. Ah, gold bar. That makes me wonder, was that just a normal sparkly or was that a sparkly spawn by my gold scope? I don't know. I do not understand. Maybe, maybe I should look up if a gold scope is even good. But I guess while we wander about... My brain has inflicted me with yet more story ideas. Hmm. There we go. Now we can uh, try to annihilate you. Because lately I've just had dragons on the brain. And so my mind has given me dragon based story ideas that I have been trying to flesh out. I don't know why. Brain just has had dragons on the mind. How dare you be calm. We must come murder you. Never mind. Umbreon murdered you by himself. Good job, Umbreon. You murderer master. A guild that is made up entirely of murderers. Like, not even intentionally as, like, a thing. It's just... A bunch of them just ended up in the same guild. And they're all trying not to get caught. Maybe they're trying to rehabilitate. <laughs> For a moment, I was just like, where did Espeon go? There wasn't a fight to draw her away, so what the hell? Get confused, idiot. 
Damn it. Ah, but we got a box. A glittery box. No more sludge for you, bastard. Get annihilated, idiot. And this is going to be a winding road to a dead end, isn't it? We've come across that same little junction multiple times. Where it's just like, go up, left, down. Oh, ah, uh, shit, it's another fucking trubbish. At least I went for stockpile instead. <laughs> I swear to Arceus if we see a Chimchar. Then your voice will be overtaken by mine. I'm like a voice parasite. Every time I voice a character, the voice you had for them before disappears. And I become the prime voice for them. <laughs> it is my ultimate goal. You think Troy Baker is around everywhere? Soon I'll be everywhere. My voice will be in Town Square. When the evil government comes in and puts up motivational speakers, my voice will be ringing out to you. Work harder. You are happy. You do not dislike this government. They are very nice instead, you think, yes. Is Chimchar even in this game? Considering that... Like, uh... Actually, I don't know. I don't even know if, like, Charmander is in this game. Just no idea. I have no idea, like, the scope. Oh, so that was a gold buff thing. It was actually gold. I think I'm going to be wearing these gold specs. <laughs> Instead, because if I can get more gold, I can get the, like, energy ball and dragon tail faster. And I become a god, I can then get, like, uh, manuals to level up my skills more, too. Gold. Gold. <gasps> and I have money. A stun seat, man. A zinc. And I just remembered. Raise a special defense. Reunion cape. Don't care. Sure. I almost forgot. First off, Zinc. Me, because I'm always the one in front getting annihilated. Nom nom. And the life seed. I am a, I am a, I, 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 I note them. I say I'm going to use them. And then I fucking don't, because I'm an idiot. And the iron. Because when it comes down to it, I'm the one that wasn't affected by the weird draining that was going on in the uh, Glacial Palace. So if I ever need to solo a boss, I need to become a, a brick shithouse. Leap play. I use detect, asshole. Die. I'm playing Heart Gold with a Vent Arceus following me. I, I gave it the Draco plate. I've never played Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Eventually, someday, hopefully. Pursuit. But also, I gotta say, I find it funny that I found a normal sparkly that gave gold before I found a gold sparkly that gave gold from the. Like a gold finding specs. I find that amusing to me. Ah, uh, not a fucking trubbish. Not a motherfucker. Hey, double slap you did free. That's illegal. You're gonna give over the, that, that box. Hey, you can't pound my ass. That's Lux's job. Illegal pounding happening in this Redland Badland dungeon, man. Well, we got another box that we can open up. I still don't know the difference between red and blue boxes. 
Yeah, son of a bitch. It's always the trubbish. No gold. But what the fuck? How did something spawn in here? I just like I walk out of a dead end. Suddenly, this is bam, 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 bam. There was murder happening behind us. We go back in. It's like Umbreon. What the hell happened? Ah, uh, you know, fighting ghosts. Except not the ghost type, just the ghosts. I'm not as scared of you, but you should be scared of me. You should be scared of the the grass snake. The grass snake. Here to kill you, Leaf Blade. Basically, I need to super use my Leaf Blade all the time to try and level it up super fast. As well as my tackle. My tackle could be good. Motherfucking poison status effect. I'm gonna find the inventor of poison, and I am going to choke him. And not like a daddy. Like Michael Myers. Granted, there's some people who would call Michael Myers daddy. Because this is the internet. For some reason, this, like, orchestral section now reminds me of... Uh, Sonic Colors. Fine whip. I would like to go on, get rid of the poison. How dare you. Triple how dare you. Alright. Leap blade. Ba -ba. You handle the trubbish, I'll handle the normal guy. The whimsicott. There's motherfuckers on every single fucking beam, man. I dance. Smack him. Trubbish here, trubbish there. There is trubbish everywhere. Why would they call the trash Pokemon rubbish? When it's supposed to come from the, Eng like the um, like American, uh, ba ba ba, was it called uh, <laughs> the New York America region? That guy was trying to block me off from my goddamn gold. What a bitch! What a shame. Hello. You bitch. Die. Do not bland uh, do not blind Umbreon. Or as he is known as in Japan, Blackie. At least I'm fairly certain that's what the Umbreon is known as in Japanese. At least my allies seem intelligent to dodge traps, which is very nice. Will you please die already? <laughs> We're standing here looking at your protecting ass for too long. Die. In the words of Shadow the Hedgehog, die. Man, these pan pores are weak. They're weak sauce. It was just a circle the entire time. You'd think that would have led to a room, but it doesn't. Because the world is rude. To the stairs we go. Ah, more murder. <laughs> A single cub chew. He died. 
My Winnie the Chew is better than you. Why would be acid, you bastard? Die. They're trying to steal my money. You're gonna suffer for that. Meditate all you want. Meditate on this. Medita meditate on these nuts. And then I'll take your money, and you'll never see it again, because it's my money. I'm like the banking system, see? We're gonna take your money, it's gonna turn into my money, and then you're gonna die. You bitch. Ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna splurge on so many vitamins. I almost walked away without paying for him, and he would have come to murder me. That's gonna happen one of these days. I'm gonna be like walking out, because I was like, oh hey, a thing I'm gonna use. And then I walk away, the Kecleon will slowly turn my way and go, that motherfucker didn't pay for his, his vitamins, and would charge after me like the Terminator. Or like, or like, uh, Ban like Kazooie in that one Banjo-Kazooie picture, where like, Kazooie is like, in uh, Banjo's backpack and sees Falco in Smash, and just like, Terminator runs after him. I really do like the music here. I think next floor we're gonna be fighting the Zebstrika. Zebstrika. The electric zebra who's gonna fucking die. I do find it funny that there's just like hit hit notices on our little board. They're like, this motherfucker did something. Go kill him. And then we go do it. We are professional hitman. <laughs> we are professional hitmon. And we can use the team attack on that motherfucker. <laughs> Zip Striker gonna fucking die. And apparently I went the one way where the exit wasn't. Right, wrong way indeed. Hello, die. Quickly check for any sparklies. Granted, I highly doubt you'd be able to get two sparklies on one run. <laughs> Looker would be proud of you. <laughs> Attention, battle is here. You have found the outlaw. All right, we're going to annihilate you. Get exploded, bitch! And I keep forgetting that it heals you. <laughs> you exploded <laughs> that twink's penis. Good job. Would you like to exit the dungeon? No, there's a fucking treasure chest right here. Unless you're going to also pick up all of the items in the floor. I'm gonna go hunting. You've never seen the team attack in this game, have you? Chad just said WHAT in capital letters. It's because I keep forgetting to use it. Because it's one of those things where I'm like, oh, I can't use it. It's too special to just use randomly. So I end up not using it even when I should use it. And only then, the floor before we got to Zebstrika, I was like, oh yeah. I can do the team attack, which just fucking makes him explode and fly away. It's amazing. I love it. Uh, remember to stay hydrated, everybody. I look for gold. I'm sorry, I won't be bad anymore! You just exploded me! 
<laughs> Many thanks for punishing the evildoers. Your reward, hmm. And now we need the herbs. And 60 paradise points. Huzzah! Oh, we're gonna get story! We're gonna get story because we're saving before we go to bed, before we wake up, and not after we wake up. Oh boy! Story time! And the moon's gone again. Oh, dream time? Or is this just showing us and then we're gonna cut to somebody else? Oh, dream time! Is Wigglytuff's thing just a team attack, but it's solo? Huh. <laughs> that would be funny because team attacks are a thing you can do because you're so in tune with everybody else on the team. But even then, it needs to build up during, like, the adventure. The more people you have, the more enemies you face, the stronger the team attack becomes. And Wigglytuff is just so lovey-dovey that he just, like, passively charges it all the time, I guess. This is... This looks like one of those dreams. I haven't had one in so long. Is that... Is that a voice? Neon, you... You... Hear me? Neon? Whoa! It's much clearer than last time! Just a little more. Just let me dream. A little longer. So was it the voice from before? The next morning. Morning, Neon! Huh? You seem a little out of it today. Oh! Did you have another one of those dreams of yours? I like how in tune Locke is with the with the with us. Like how the partner Pokemon of GTI is just like super locked in. It's like I again game, don't you dare emotionally break Locke. Don't you have Lock B, a cheerful mask, where he's like, oh, I've got to be good, I've got to be happy for everybody else and encourage other people to be happy while I'm dying inside. Don't you dare make that be Lock. Because Lock admitted in the, in the night chat that one time, where he's just like, I never had any friends or family or anything, I've been alone all my life, and it's just like, don't hurt the boy. So you did. Sure has been a while, huh? Neon explained what happened during the dream. We heard a voice, and only a little bit. What? So basically the voice keeps getting clearer and clearer, right? Neon, then that means... I knew it. You just needed to get in sync with each other or whatever. And if that's the case, then you should definitely be able to hear that voice loud and clear soon. Maybe he's right. I keep waking up before I can hear much, but... I did feel this time like I was so close to hearing what she had to say. Again, I also enjoy that this game actually ha like says he and she and stuff. It isn't just name, 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 name. They're actually using pronouns. <laughs> once you know who that Pokemon is who's calling for help, we'll go save her at once. I'll go along too, of course. I want to know too, after all. Why you were called to this world. So, let me help you out with this. Thank you indeed, Locky boy. Hey, Neon, can I ask you something? You know, ever since you told me about your dream, I've been thinking. I still don't know why you got turned into a Pokemon, Neon. But I guess it must mean you have some sort of role to play here. I think that's why you came to this world. So you've got to find out what it is you're meant to do. And you've got to see it through to the end. But when you do, when you finish everything you came here to do, Neon, you... You'll probably go back to your own world, won't you? The human world. Will I? I hadn't really thought about it. But if I'm here in the Pokemon world to complete a specific task, then... I guess it makes sense that I would be sent back home afterward. You don't know either, huh? Hey, Neon. If you don't know what to do, I... I... I think you should stay here forever! What? Please, Neon. Just stay here with us forever, okay? <laughs> it's just like, well, I mean, things have been going good. <laughs> Why would I want to leave? <laughs> like, if I have a... <laughs> then again, like, if you were in that position... Of, like, do you have a choice? Like, we don't know if we have a choice here. It's just like, well, why not stay if we can? 
Really? All right! <laughs> I'm so relieved. Thanks, Neon. You know it'd be cruel if they actually gave you, like, an option to say yes or no. Oh, uh, that was such a pure-hearted plea from Locke that I promised without really thinking. But really, what is it that I'm really here for? If I do have some sort of role to fulfill, then when I'm done, what happens to me? Thanks, Neon. Now let's get down to work. And of course, we're going to do our daily thing, check on the berries. Still growing. Level up my leaf blade. <laughs> but I wonder, like, how the end is going to, like, happen for me. Like, uh, how it's going to Oh, yeah, we need to do Vine Whip, not Leaf Blade, because... Vine Whip is the one hard, the hard one. Leveled up my Vine Whip, but only a little bit. <laughs> and level up at the Dragon Dojo, the boy shall become more powerful in his double chopping. And it grew immensely again? My boy, you're hogging all the grow immensely. It's like uh, in Explorers, I kept getting like the super-powered gummies. He's getting all the super-powered <laughs> like uh, move-ups. Oh, my friends. Do your best again today, hmm? Wow, he's just super happy for us now. Then again, it's all because of him that we're able to do anything at all. Let's see. Uh, hidden power, that is very, very expensive. Much more expensive than in, uh... <laughs> Bidoof's Wish, at least. Hello, dude. Huh? Are you spec from the Great Glacier already? What? Your adventure was a total success. You even got your mix on some treasure. And since you got back, the whole town's been one big party. You slugs. Just want I'll mosey off for a few days. My jealous chump. You're out of your mind, not me. <laughs> did you see the older chat messages? I think I did. Sometimes they might pass by. Sometimes I read them all the multiple times. Must be a furry thing. I don't know what that was describing. Because <laughs> so much has happened since I actually went and looked at the chat. Honestly, the frost last deserved it. Which frost last? I think we... There is at least a story frost last. But I don't think we fought any frost lasses in a while. And from Twitch chat. Hi, I'm collecting gates to infinity enjoyers. Oh no, I have been stolen. Like, like in a DC Marvel comic book plot. Seems you're somewhat, uh, early, but are you having fun so far? This is amazing. As I've said in the past, if Gates to Infinity's story la hits the landing, if Gates to Infinity's story hits the landing and hits it hard, tears my sh my heart to shreds, I think this might be my favorite mis Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. Because Rescue Team I enjoy because it's uh, of its simplicity and its earnestness. Explorers of Sky I really like because of its world and characters, but the gameplay of this one is the best so far with everything they've done and like how it's integrated into the plot and how the plot is going. I like the kind of slow burn aspect. And funny to have it considered early because I went and checked the like how long to beat and how long to beat estimated like 24 hours for the main story, but who knows? I've, I know next to nothing with this. I hope you'll keep this between the two of us, but the truth is, I've gained a special power that allows me to fly through the sky. I don't believe you. I was so happy with this new power that I set out on a journey at once. I thought I'd traveled a great distance from Post Town. Uh, but then why am I still here? Why is Ducket here, Ducklet here beside me? For some reason, I just don't feel very well rested. Of course, we did party pretty hard the other day. 
But it's more that I feel... More than that. I feel like I've been fighting for hours or something. You know, I don't remember fighting in any battles or anything. <laughs> Are dreams becoming reality or something? <laughs> Hey, I went to the Great Glacier of all you guys, right? Huh? I didn't. That's so weird. Then why do I feel like I did? All right, these dudes are thinking that their dreams are real. Must have been very, very, like, <laughs> realistic dreams. That's kind of weird. Open up my glittery box, Rampardos. And a Max Elixir. And next, a dainty box. And more gold bars. We're gonna be able to get one of those TMs before I know it. I'll be able to get all the technical machines. And another max elixir. We have so many max elixirs. Oh, I've never heard people say that gameplay of this one was the best, but I understand where you're coming from. Base building rules, it's like getting your own little guild. But yeah, the story is lovely. I'm really enjoying the story so far. But gameplay-wise, it's mostly because there's a lot of gameplay smoothing that they've done. Like, I, I can understand some people being annoyed that, like, the, the basic attack got nerfed to hell and only does five damage now, but they added in level leveling. Or, like, not level leveling, move leveling. I don't know why my brain says, ah, oh, yes, move is level now. Brain is weird. But yeah, moves, they can level up and they're shared between everyone. That is really cool. Traps are one use only, and there's still the ability to negate them a little bit with random skills. That's really cool. I do kind of miss Spinda's bar in the gummies to get IQs, but IQ skills, but have them replaced by random chance boxes that affect the entire team and not just individual people that's also really cool and again my only major gameplay gripe is i wish that i could choose a dungeon from like the available requests and do all of the missions in that dungeon and not just singular ones but i understand why you can't do that because then you would get too many uh <laughs> too many resources for the base building And as for the YouTube chat, I don't think I see anything about Frostlass. It could be that YouTube chat is eating up the uh, the chats, because I think somebody else once said that their chats weren't going through for some reason. YouTube chat is weird, or like the, the chatting system is weird. But yeah, just, I'm really enjoying this game. Why is Pluck always here? I don't want you. Again, a minor gripe that isn't super serious. I would I kind I very much miss Mama Kangaskhan. Mama Kangaskhan is a character that I miss and maybe a banker. I understand that like that is much more like simpli uh, simplified just having a box for storage and money and you don't have to like deal with characters but still I must eat to fortify myself for the coming battles. After this meal, I plan to challenge a dungeon with a great mysteriosity. I shall do my utmost. We're thinking about trying to make a new kinds of enter cards next. But we've still got requests to do, too. Guess I'll just have to find some free time to get together with Espeon and research. We should probably start researching different enter card combinations now. Finding the best combinations ahead of time would be good in case of an emergency. We were just talking about inner card combinations. When you have to travel a great distance, don't you like to take the shortest path? Indeed. Welcome. The sunshine feels wonderful today, doesn't it? Since you've come all this way, why not stick around and chat with me for a bit? Sure. Ah, sad. We can't actually have a super conversation with me. Or with you. <laughs> well, basically a frost last w uh, uh, one hit a Apollo. <laughs> when that happens. The Pokemon come in and they're like, I'm going to fuck up your day. And I'm still, still, still worrying what those flying lights people have been seeing are. 
I'm still worrying about it. Ah, it's so comfortable, Trub Trub. Just slouching around like this. And if I relax too much, my stomach bag could split right in two, Trub Trub. Not Trub Trub. It was just a joke, Trub Trub. I don't believe you. Tis so peaceful here. Being able to spend days every day, days like tis nothing at all. Is this what you call peace? Hopefully we'll be able to bring back the rainbows of pe- oh, like, or whatever. What are they called? The rainbows of something. The double rainbows. Double rainbow all the way. And people will then be able to super feel nice and happy, yes. You got anything to say? Good morning, Yon and Locke. I like that there's, like, even those little... Little parts like that. Oh, yeah, I need to... I believe it is fresh herb that I require for my oodles of orbs. Yep, we need fresh herb. Why do you need herbs for oodles of orbs? Who knows? I think I wasn't paying attention. I need herb. 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 There is a fresh herb one there. <laughs> Find the particular box. Herb. Herb. Unlikely it's looking like... Uh, no, oh, there is a double herb, but it's up there. I think, uh, I believe it's like uh, down here, I think it was. Yeah, we'll do this one and uh, get some more money and some other stuff as well. I don't mind it. I don't mind taking a slow path a little bit. And we do need to gather up our monies. Properly like. And besides, this also means that we uh, go out on more adventures and I can have the potential to grab more, b more, uh, b b b What's the word? More... Why'd you focus on the flower? Ooh, is that a... I didn't even... I don't think it focused like that last time. So I think we need to follow the blue flowers, or like uh, these purple flowers, to get through this dungeon properly. Shall annihilate this guy. Be gone. <laughs> Double annihilation. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. This is the one that has these little outlets for some reason. I enjoy them. They uh, they don't add much, but they just... I don't know. They're just nice. I wonder if this is giving, like, PTSD flashbacks for poor Espeon. Because she had to run through this place. In blind fear. Probably walk... I need also to keep on my toes to look around for, uh... Gold. Quit one-hitting them, or one-shotting them, before I one-shot them. I need to level up my moves. Again, I really like the music in this dungeon. Like the guitar part is just nice. <laughs> I like the look of his. It's like Espeon and Umbreon are bodyguards for Locke. And then I broke up the formation sadness. <laughs> Apollo wasn't one shot. I was just uh, just saying he was hit once. <laughs> An enemy hits your your partner once. Yeah, so you have chosen death. That is the true mystery dungeon way. around for any shiny. It doesn't look like there's any shiny, so we shall move along. So basically what I'm I'm feeling... Oh, the effects for Dragon Claw is super cool. <laughs> what I'm assuming now is that uh, I accidentally went the right way. We need to follow the right flowers to get out of here. And I accidentally did that, I think. Hmm. What did I? Because they were, like, violet. But it seems like, uh... 
Well, I guess this is the closest to it. I guess it could be the lighting. <laughs> the lighting make it do that. <laughs> Did 431 damage to the frost last of a flamethrower after that. Totally reasonable. Retribution. <laughs> Gotta level up. <laughs> well, I was gonna say level up my vine whip, but leveling up in and of itself is also good. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I wonder if any, like, more Pokemon are going to come by, like, uh, ba -ba -ba. come by Paradise, because they're like, ah, this is the land of the legendary Team True Hope, who went to the Great Glacier and came back to tell the tale. Are we gonna get evil, like, evil fans who are gonna try to invade Paradise? That would be, ooh, that'd be a an evil plot line. Like, oh, we're gonna build up paradise. Jaded evil Pokemon are like, you're trying to make a paradise, huh? Well, I don't believe in that. And they come in and just destroy paradise, and then lock. Oh, what if that would be like Locke's despair event horizon? Was just like, we just wanted to make a place where Pokemon could be happy and live a good life, and these. Other Pokemon just came and destroyed everything. Nothing matters. It's like, ugh. Oh. Again, game, don't you dare do anything emotionally devastating to Locke. He is a precious bean. Don't you dare. Leech seed all you want. I'm gonna level up my Vine Whip. Like, also the fact that, like, he a like he he was the one to worry about us going back. He's the one that put more thought into, like, oh, if you were brought here for some reason, if after that reason is done and over with, will you still be here? Will you go back? And then immediately asked, hey, why don't you stay with us forever? I am beginning to worry. I'm gonna. I'm beginning to talk myself into worrying more and more about Locke. Just the more and more and more and more worry and fear. Conspiracy th uh, theories sprout around paradise, being some sort of nefarious plot to take over post town. And they kick you out of your home. Well, they wouldn't be able to do that because Quagsire would be there, hopefully. Because that's the thing. I don't think that like something like that would happen in this game, because we're too ingrained in post town. It would have to be outside forces doing it. Then again. Like, the early plot kind of was, well, not even plot, but, like, the early vibes were fights were breaking out all over the place, and Pokemon were very irritable and not all that friendly. So, like, I guess, like, I could see, like, a dark, dark, everybody's happy, but then the moment something hits... They're all those doubts that we've been, like, uh, f like, throwing away just come rushing back. Oh, that would be even worse, because even though, like, uh, Verizian's main, like, story arc has been... Because Verizian stated it, like, I'm trying to get my mind in proper order here to say what I want to say, but Verizian, when Dunsparce asked her to be his friend initially said things like oh I don't make friends anymore you can't trust Pokemon they could just be nefarious want to get in close just to hurt you or use you and it's like those are sentiments that she said and then like if there was like a conspiracy to try and drag paradise through the mud I could see, like, again, all those worries and fears flooding back to potentially, like, really, 
like, again, bring all those negative feelings back to the surface and just utterly annihilate. Ah. Oh. Thanks for getting the particular box. I'll give you this as a reward. 200 pokey, spring water, fresh herb, and a reviver seed. That's handy. And 40 paradise points. But yeah, it's just like, the thing is, like, I have no idea where the story is going. All I know is that that pink elephant is running, Hydra Gun is chasing him, and I don't know what's going to happen. I don't... Let's give it our all again today. And of course, save time. <laughs> and back in YouTube chat, it says, <laughs> Obliterating the Frost Lass with Flamethrower. Felt like an episode of One Punch Man. I can definitely... I can definitely feel that. It's like, I annihilate you. Be gone. They're just a scorch mark on the ground. Hey, nice timing. What's up? Remember I told you before you, uh, about those strange lights that keep appearing? You can see one of them now if you want. Really? Yeah, you can see it from the hill. I just came here from, I uh, just came from there. You two should go check it out. Thanks. We will. Let's go, Neon. Yeah. Huh. But what could it be, really? Who knows? I got no idea, man. Like, that, that guy keeps using man. It should be mon. Especially because they have traveling salesmons. Not salesmen. Looks like we're not the first ones. What is the color? What is the color? What is it? So, where's this light supposed to? Oh, there it is, right there. Neon, look, there. See? There's a huge ball of light! Oh no! It's golden! Oh, and this music. Da, da. I, I like this music. I see it. A ball of light floating off in the distance. But it... It doesn't really look like it's moving, does it? Amolka said he saw balls of light floating up in the sky, but... He was telling the truth. The light is definitely going up. It's just real slow. It's so slow that it looks like it's practically frozen, see? It's golden. It's golden, and I don't like that. That's like the golden disappearing thing from Rescue Team. It's not really like Explorers because it was golden orbs and then we just vanished in a hail of golden light. In Rescue Team. We turned into a giant golden ball of light and flew up into the sky. And I do not like that. I do not like this. Then again, again, I mentioned at the start, ever since Glacial Palace, just a tension, a, a spring of tension has been winding and I am just waiting for the Dusk Noir moment. I am waiting for the fugitive moment. Hmm. Well, it is pretty. And it's definitely mysterious. Yeah, it's pretty. It is, but... Hmm? But what? N not nothing. I mean, I'm probably just overthinking things. But I've lived in this town my whole life. And I've never seen anything like that before. Not once. And now these things keep showing up, and pretty often, too. It just makes me kind of uneasy. Uneasy? Yeah, folks are always saying stuff, right? Like it's a bad omen or something. The more mysterious and strange things that happen, I can't help feeling like it's some kind of sign of bad things to come. I hope we're just worrying for no reason, but... A sign of bad things to come. I was hoping that would be like a blue light or something, but it's specifically gold. I'm scared, man. Like, I don't know. I don't know. When I saw that light, it made me feel uneasy. It's really only been the past week or so since those lights started appearing in the sky like that. That makes me wonder how long our adventure to the glacier actually took, how long it was. Oh, good afternoon. Neon, were you able to see the light already? It is somewhat how very mystical, isn't it? I'm just looking for reasons to be terrified. Really? Bum. 
We have so many Max Elixirs! So many! I saw it too, the golden light! I saw it too, from the hill! It was really far away, but it was glittering and pretty! I'm the box buster, I don't have anything to say, damn it! I don't even have any boxes! Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Take all the time you like. Mm, struggle bug? Okay, I'm, I'm interested. What is struggle bug? Obviously a bug move. Damages nearby enemies and also lowers their special attack. I miss the old explorers. Information gathering. <laughs> Watching someone play this in particular for the first time is such an experience. Yeah, because it, this is probably the best one to like watch me play blind because I played Rescue Team when I was younger. So even though I streamed it and uploaded it to my ch YouTube channel, like uh, I already knew everything through. It still almost made me cry. Then it, with Explorers, I forgot vast swaths of it, never played the special episode. So that was an experience. And I came close to tears multiple times. I think I actually shed a few tears. Literally only voice acting through it made me not uh, break down crying. And even then, the time gear motif and don't don't ever forget, like, m like, m annihilated me emotionally hearing them for days afterwards. With this, all I know is the glacial palace is a thing, Mana the pink elephant is a thing, and Hydragon is a thing. Those are the only things I know about this game, and I guess I technically knew about slightly nihilistic Verizian, but I didn't know any context about that, so everything's just like. I'm scared. <laughs> the mystery is coming for me. <laughs> Locke, I'm not a scientist, but are you looking into the sun? <laughs> Says YouTube chat. Locke is a dragon. He can do that. The light. I've lived a long, <coughs> a long time, but that's the first time I ever saw anything like that. What in the world is it? I've no idea. I'm worried that it was a human who got fucking annihilated. Either that or there's just a bunch of humans wrapping up their duty in this world. Again, I'm leaning on a human got annihilated. We've yet to see a human die in this series, so we don't know. What? You're wondering what it, that light could be? If old Herdier doesn't know, then I definitely don't know the answer. I sure do wonder, though. Hey, did you see him? Yeah, the whole time that you guys were away at the Great Glacier... They just appear like that, floating up into the sky from time to time. But what in the world are they? I saw it as well from up on the hilltop. That light. It was a mysterious sight, wasn't it? Indeed it is. Those lights you see from the hill have become the talk of the town. Everybody's wondering what those lights could be. Some Pokemon seem to get negative at the drop of a hat, and I find it quite troublesome. Hmm, I also think it's foolish to get upset simply because you don't know something. Even in the Pokemon world, Pokemon see something they don't understand, they go, I hate it! <laughs> that song has a chokehold on my emotions, says YouTube chat. Either, like, Explorers had such good motifs. I do enjoy the music of this game, but the motifs of Explorers were just so good. Like, In the Hands of Fate, Time Gear... Through the Sea of Time. Don't ever forget. Just like so many. Oh yeah, we also need to check out our normal like uh, our berry farm and stuff. Our morning routine! We almost forgot! Because we got dragged here. Look around, see if there's anybody, there's nobody. Let's see what you have to sell, Quagsire. I can help you change your party in here, and I sell items too. Let's see what you got, my dear boy. Got safeguard, other things. A training seed, I don't really care for that. I guess I'll put away some of my money. I'll keep lunch money just for, like, one vitamin. 
because I, I really shouldn't. Would actually. Uh, deposit it all, and then withdraw the amount for one. There we go. That's the proper way to do it. Also toying with the old PMD fans, those lights could be anything and have different implications in this game. But they had to make them golden. That's also true. They could be playing off our expectations. And I could be a buffoon. It's just that at the same time, like, I don't know. Oh, dang it, I forgot. You need to sparkle, not show actual thing. Darn. I'm a fool. I'm also going to have to bring out more money because I also forgot to do the training. I got to train my vine whip. I love the music in this game. I just wish that there was a little bit more, like, motifs that I recognized. Either I am musically dumb... Or there aren't that many, like, very popping motifs that I've noticed. Could be a mixture of both. More subdued motifs, and I'm just not trained enough to recognize them. Of course, more Dual Chop. Are you going to get a super charge up again? It's happened twice in a row. It'll be a third time. Nope, just normal. What about the Reviver Seed? I don't think I need Reviver Seeds. I have a decent amount of Reviver Seeds, so I don't need to buy them. <laughs> oh, you're right. There are several videos by actual music theorists and teachers gushing of how Explorers is a prime example of how you make motifs work. Again, like, Time Gear is such a good motif! I love it! It is just so utterly fantastic. Just love it. And uh, let me quickly check. I'm uh, trying to scrounge up for oodles of orbs. We need one more fresh herb. But don't worry, late game, the music gets even better. Oh boy. We got another fresh herb. Redland reaches. Darn it. A fresh herb from Tempting Path. Hmm. I'll probably just do this one, obtain the particular key, and uh, go to Tempting Path, get some sturdy vine, and some decent money. Let us head out. They want that particular key. I could bring them a red key, and they would... Be like, no, you didn't get the particular one. That'd be a funny, like, mystery dungeon, like... I could see that be, like, a plot of a mystery dungeon fanfic, like, mini arc. Where a team is, like, a... Uh, couldn't find that specific item. They're like, don't worry, we have one, we'll give them this. They, they won't even know the difference. And then they try to give it to him. It's like, I know the difference. You're trying to swindle me! He's like, it's the same type of item. They're basically the same. Why are you upset? I wanted that particular blast seed! And then it turns into a fight. The ultimate boss battle. Oh boy. I should have brought more because it looks like there's... Ooh, calcium. I forget. What's you? It raises my special attack. Hmm. Or iron. I... <laughs> if I just drink it, will he come murder me? <laughs> I'm scared. I'll just pick it up. I will buy this iron. I will become a tanky god. One of these days, I'm going to forget to pay for the iron. And he's going to come and murder me. I have yet to be attacked by Kecleons. But at the same time... I've yet to care to bring money in to buy from Kecleons. This is the game for that to happen to me. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -ba 
ba da ba 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 da ba 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 Just love the music in this game. Hello, Woobat, or whatever your name is, die! You can try, but you will die! You're the perfect punching bag to level up my Vine Whip! Damn it, you protect yourself. Vine Whip! I'm gonna get level, what, six Vine Whip? I'm gonna become a god. When I become a, what, a, what, a superior? I will become superior to all you nuggets. You, you chicken nuggets will be thrown into the air fryer. That is my brilliance. Ah, my vine whip got upgraded. It is now six. I should probably be leveling up my leaf blade though. My leaf blade deserves more power, more strength. You can screech all you want, you, 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 you weed basket. <laughs> that blast seed has been passed down through generations of my family. Eats it to kill you. I mean, that, that would be interesting. Now I'm imagining Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, but with swords. Like actual tangible weapons. That would be so weird to see. Because we haven't seen... Like, aside from Blast Seeds, no Pokemon has ever used, like, a weapon made from the world. Just, at most, a weapon that came from them, like, say, a Marowak or something. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ran into a Marowak in these games yet. Either that or I just forgot. My memory is shit. Call me a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon protagonist, because my memory is terrible. Well, unless you want me to remember the motifs of Time Gear and don't ever forget. Then my memory is crystal clear. Also, I find it amusing that we've yet to be called by our Woobat uh, telepath. Oh, hey. You're not going to be angry that I grabbed that, right? Thank you. You're like, oh, it touched my tarp. It's mine. <laughs> I have seen fan art of an Ambipom quad, uh, quad-wielding Skarmory Iron Feathers of Swords. That sounds cool. I wish I was that creative. I need to draw more. It's just that, like, my brain is evil and doesn't let me actually press my artistic skills. Because it, it's, it's a part of that stupid uh, brain thing where it goes like, Oh, but if you don't get social media numbers, then your art is bad and you should feel bad. I need to I need to annihilate that, that part of me and just draw. But I am but a weak fool. Espeon is anni <laughs> annihilating out here. Me just trying to level up my leaf blade, my allies nuking this dungeon. Go Espeon, you Psy nuke! Haha, <laughs> your rollout sucks. I always like to full clear these dungeons, especially because I don't have to worry about hunger meter! <laughs> I need not carry apples with me. Apples are no longer a thing of survival, but a thing of deliciousness that we have at home. Just, just literally sitting there on the, the on a table in our house. And now my brain went back to the 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 classic meme. Oh my God, they were they were roommates. Just applying that to all of the like heroes and partners throughout all the Mystery Dungeon games. Except for the first one, oddly enough. In Rescue Team, your partner just gives you a house and walks away. Meanwhile, in Explorers, your roommates, in this one, your housemates, not beholden to an organization, you just decide to live together. 
And this is why I ship here on Partner always. Actually, jumping back to the... We've yet to see, like, Pokemon use, like, uh, Pokemon-made weapons in the world. That's actually... I, I have so many Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas in my head that I've kind of forgotten some of them. This is why I write them down. But, like, uh... Oh, he wants to learn a move. But, like, uh, one of the story ideas I have is that a human would go to the Pokemon world, and, like, a bunch of humans have come and gone. And, like, uh... One just gets put through the ringer. And decides, oh, the, this world is evil and cruel and very mean to me. So, I'm going to give this, like... Uh... I'm gonna give this, like, uh, evil kingdom... Like, knowledge of human weaponry to enrich my life and take vengeance upon this world that has treated me so cruelly. Because in the Pokemon world, Pokemon have just fought their battles and wars with normal, like, Pokemon abilities and built-in weapons. They never thought, ah, we need, we need a gun. <laughs> no Pokemon has ever thought about that. Not a single Pokemon has just <laughs> wondered about gunpowder. And then I think somehow I put, like, time travel into that story. I forget how, though. I have a ton of story ideas just racked in my head. Last time I counted, I think I have 22 Pokemon Mystery Dungeon only story ideas. I have many, 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 many non-Pokemon Mystery Dungeon stories out there. Well, not out there. They're all in my head. In my Google Docs. They are all written down as ideas and now need to be fleshed out into actual stories. But Brain is mean on that as well. I need to go... Because <laughs> also speaking of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic ideas... Like, the two that I need to get back to and finish up are, like, my 11-chapter small story. And then my way, 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 way late Valentine's one-shot based on my Explorers of Sky playthrough. So many. <laughs> well, there is Hone Edge, which is in Gen 6's in uh, Super Mystery Dungeon. Now I'm just imagining, like, a Pokemon wielding a Hone Edge. Which would still be kind of funny, because instead of, like, making swords, they're just like... Ah, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll recruit Haunt Edges. Use them in our war. Ah, another cute box. Yay! We're gonna watch this cute box get utterly annihilated. You've heard of Pornhub. Get ready for, uh, Box Hub, I guess. Oh, there's a detour new e near you. I probably can't even use it, though. Watch it be hilarious, like, hilariously obvious. So it's probably just like, hey, on this floor, there's a, a detour. Can we even go through? Oh! I'm not sure if I want to. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I've never been able to clear them away before. So I'm kind of scared. While standing on this tile, you can use two um, a move two times in a row in one turn. The move's power points will be reduced as if you used it two times. Enemies can take advantage of this tile as well. But what's that thing? This is a training switch. Step on it and moves so that you and your party members use will power up more quickly while on this floor. That's cool. A deluxe box? What's that? What's a deluxe box?
All right. I I better get out of here alive. That is uh, another fucking deluxe box. Oh, that's bad. Reviver seed, please, and get out of there. That's mean. Need to be very careful with the characters at the back, because... An enemy can just waltz on in and be like, Hey, I'm gonna multi-hit you to death. That's the first time we've had to use a Reviver Seed, by the way. Alright, definitely gonna use an Orin Berry on the boy. By the way, Umbreon, if Locke didn't exist, totally husbando material you, you, you are. All right, I think it's about time that we got the hell out of here. Please, no more Drillbur. No more Drillbur. <laughs> Please. I got all these deluxe boxes. I'm uh, willing to leave now. <laughs> so what's the game plan uh, going forth from here after finishing the Great Glacier? Well, I mean, there's a lot of story. I just don't know what's going to happen. So it's mostly going to be like... Uh, Build out paradise. Try to get more story to happen. Like any mystery dungeon game. Just go until things happen. And then if the post game of the game ever comes up and is difficult, I'll look up a guide and try to glean what it is I need to do. But yeah, detours are scary. That's the first time we've had to use a Reviver Seed. Leaf Blade. Ah, uh, we will take. <laughs> Exadrill. A drill burr is the pre evolved form. Ah. I get that mixed up a lot sometimes with some Pokemon. My brain just goes, kind of similar name, roll with it. I presume upon them a lot. It's kind of horrifying that some of these Pokemon are just hiding behind detours. Like, imagine you go through a mystery dungeon all your life. It's like, yeah, this is a very simple place. And, on the, and then someday you decide to go down a detour. And you realize, oh, death was right around a corner blocked by fog. Well, it's, we're, we're gonna have to see what these deluxe boxes are. And see what deluxe boxes have to say. Oh, hey, a Mian Chow. Thanks for getting the particular key. Your pose is a little weird, but hey. Money, sturdy vine. Fresh herb. Gravel. Oh, hey, finally, gravel rock. As a normal reward, it's been forever. Uh oh, story time! Because we're 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 saving before we wake up. What story happened? Moon's still gone. M dream or lock paranoia? It looks like dream. Oh boy. Me, neon. You. Can you hear me, neon? Whoa, I can. I can hear you really clearly now. You can. Thank goodness. I finally, I finally got through to you. Neon. The elephant. You're, you're the one I saw being chased. <laughs> Fourth time seeing this, <laughs> seeing that. So it really was you that I saw in that vision. Yes, that's right. My name is Mana. You're being chased by some scary-looking Pokemon. Are you okay? I mean, I can hear your voice now and everything. So you're doing okay, right? I suppose so. At least I've managed to not get caught so far. 
Really? Well, that's good to hear. I was pretty worried, you know. Yes, but I'm getting so tired. Hydragon do just doesn't give up. He keeps finding me. Hydragon. That's what the other Pokemon's called? He seemed pretty brutal. He is. Hydragon of the three fearsome heads. He uses those three heads to devour everything before him. All right, Canonical Vor. Wasn't expecting that. He's pure destruction in Pokemon form. It's all because of him that the balance in this world has been upset. If he isn't stopped, this world will eventually be destroyed. But Hydreigon just doesn't care about anything other than himself. He says if the world is destroyed, it doesn't have anything to do with him. Or he's actually saying that the destruction of the world has nothing to do with him. That could also be a thing, Mana. Still kind of weird that he's trying to kill you, though. As well as to devour everything in front of him, so maybe, who knows. We're only getting one side of things here, and more than likely Hydreigon will try to kill us if we meet him, so we'll have to go from there. I want to do something, but Hydreigon is so violent that I... No one can stop a monster like him. I couldn't see a way out. So I thought I might find help in the human world. How did you do that? This is the first time we're actually confronting the person that brought us here. Because, like, sure, there was Gardevoir and Rescue Team. But she was kind of acting on behalf of, like, a greater power, it felt like. Especially with the post-game and that power that judged Gengar. This is the first time an actual Pokemon, or at least this one's claiming, to be the power that brought us here. I can go into people's dreams, you see. And the dream I entered, Neon, it was yours. I called out to you in des desperation, Neon. And that's what we first saw. And, but how did we become a Snivy and how did we get thrown here? <laughs> it's pronounced, uh, as in Muna. Ah, then why is there two T's? <laughs> I, I don't know. We're, the words are weird. Muna. Might you be a human? If you are, then please listen to my plea. I want you to save the Pokemon world. But just as I called out to you, Hydreigon noticed that I was trying to he get help, and that's why he began chasing me. So that's what happened. And now Muna is... I've been hunted mercilessly by Hydreigon ever since that night. That was like months ago. How are you not dead? Even Umbreon and Espeon, who were getting chased after you, or like, timeline-wise, they were getting chased by other Pokemon long after you were started getting chased, and they were on the brink of collapse. I've somehow managed to get away from him so far, but I'm just so tired. It won't be long now before I... All right. Tell me where you are now, Muna. What? You, you mean you'll help me? You're the reason that I'm here. I have been building up paradise, but you are coming into my dream, and we know nothing about what's going on except that you are in a desperate situation, so we gotta come help you. Honestly. Meh. Of course. After all, you're the one who brought me here. The Thank you, Neon. I'm at the base of Mount... Kilionia. Kilionia. I'm at the base of Mount Kilionia now. It's a volcano in the middle of a forest. I'm sorry to ask, but please help me. No! He's found me! I have to run! I'm sorry, I have to cut off the dream now! Goodbye! Like a television set. Gah! Ah, ah. Locke. He's still asleep. So it really was a dream, huh? But, at least I could finally see everything clearly. It's just like Locke said. I guess we finally got on the same wavelength. But I've got to remember everything. Let's see, Muna's the one who needs help, and the one chasing Muna is Hydreigon. Right now, Muna's at the base of some volcano called Mount Kilionia. And I'm the one she asked to help her. I came to this world because her voice seemed to pull me here. It made me happy when Locke said he would go with me, but... But this is really my problem. I don't want to drag my friends into danger. What, are you going to go off on your own and worry them? Not to mention, Hydreigon seems pretty scary. Bring all the backup you need, man. 
<laughs> Somehow Locke didn't wake up from Neon's sudden outburst. That partying still's gotten to him. So I feel like I should go alone. But Muna said Hydragon is upsetting the balance of the whole world. She said he's out to destroy everything. All of the Pokemon are feeling uneasy about the future. Maybe that feeling has something to do with Hydragon. And this isn't just my problem. It affects everyone. When morning comes, I... I'll have to talk with Locke and everyone. Please don't get depressed, Locke. They're like, oh, you're going to go fulfill your purpose and leave me. <laughs> no, don't run off alone, Snivy Neon. Exactly. What? What? Neon, you... You're not a Pokemon at all? Oh yeah, I just remembered. Nobody except Locke knows. Then again, that's... In fact, does anybody else know that, like, the Explorer protagonist is, an, is a human? I don't think so, right? In fact, I'm I'm not sure about... So yeah, this is interesting. I completely forgot that nobody else knew. But actually a human? From the human world? Dude, that is way messed up, yo. Hmm? Get her! Uh, right. I hadn't told any of them that I'm a human yet, had I? That's gotta be quite the shock. I guess I maybe should have mentioned that before telling them about my dreams. Sorry, everybody. We didn't mean to hide it from you, but it just never seemed like a right time to say anything. <laughs> yeah, like, I told Locke, and then it just never brought up again. Anyway, here's the story. Neon heard someone calling for help. They got turned into a Pokemon, then got turned into a Pokemon, and ended up here in this world. That was when the two of us met. Neon didn't have anywhere to go, so I offered my house, or my land anyway. That's how we ended up building paradise together. Neon has been here this whole time without knowing why. And if there was a, is any key to solving that mystery, it's... It's just gotta be in these dreams. That's what Neon and I have been c come to think. And in Neon's dream last night, that answer finally came. I know this all seems like a lot to swallow, but... Well, yeah, of course it is. When you just suddenly throw out something like that, we'd have to be crazy to actually believe it, right? He's right. I don't believe a single... Oh, I believe it, though. <laughs> I don't believe... I don't believe... I don't believe a single one of you would not believe it. <laughs> well, if our friend says it's true... If Neon says it's true... Then we'd believe it no matter what anyone else says. You... You guys... If this Hydragon is really devouring everything, and if it's upsetting the balance of the world, we can't just stand by and watch that happen, can we? Thanks, everyone! That's exactly how I feel! So I guess that decides it, then. We, the True Hope, with all our strength, and all our members... Except for one who has to be left behind so that Happy can contact us. ...are gonna back up Neon in this adventure! Da-da! I love the music. <laughs> yeah! We better get start getting ready, then. Does anyone know anything about this Muna or Hydragon? Not a thing. I've never heard either name before. Hmm... I don't know anything either, hmm... No one's even heard of them, huh? From what Neon said, that Hydragon sounds pretty dicey. Three heads that devour anything in front of them. A brutal Pokémon that no one can stop, right? <laughs> the fact that Snivy Neon hasn't told anyone about this is quite surprising. It's just... So... <laughs> it just never came up. But this is like the one time that like a motif has hit me. Da, da, da. But granted, it's also like the opening theme, so it's of course it's gonna hit hard. It's too terrible to even think about. It doesn't even seem like all of us together could stop him, does it? Yeah, but this is no time to be giving up too easily either. First of all, we should focus on how to save Muna. That's right. There's just too much we don't know about Hydragon yet. But we have to consider even the worst outcome. If we end up being hunted by Hydragon ourselves, we need to ensure that we don't bring disaster back to Post Town with us. So our goal is to save Muna without alerting Hydragon. Once we find Muna and make sure she's safe, we'll come right back to Paradise. Then we can learn more about Hydragon from Mana. 
and decide how we should best fight him. Does that sound good to everyone? But if we're looking to that way, then I suppose we shouldn't send a very large party in to go save Muna, no? You know? It draw too much attention. Yeah. Neon and I will take this one alone. Be careful. We don't want you to bring that dangerous hydrogen back with you. But you can count on us to hold down the fort. Come back safe, okay? Thanks, Molka. And Dunsparce. We'll do our best and keep our guard up. Tell me again where you're headed. That Muna you talked to. She said she was at the base of Mount Kilionia, right? That's a volcano down south. It's pretty far from here. Seems like using the intercards will be fastest, but we'll have to think about the right combination of cards. You're right about that. Let's start testing at once. So Espion and I will start thinking about how to set up the intercards. We'll try to find a dungeon that will get you straight to the base of Mount Kilonia. It's a long way away, but finding the right intercards shouldn't be too tough. I wouldn't expect it to take us too long. Whatever you two need to be ready, get it done. We'll be up on the hill whenever you're ready to go. Just give us the word. We will. Neon, let's hurry up and get everything set. Once we're ready, we should just head up to the hilltop. I love this game. Super cool. I guess we'll put these away because doesn't really seem like a good idea to bring in a bunch of stuff. I keep forgetting to do that each time. Uh, we'll keep a power band. Because we're not going to be looking for... Like, uh... Ba 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 too much. We're not going to be looking for gold while we're out there. We're going to be... Doing normal stuff. Let's see. Another thing that I was going to bring out... Hmm. I guess we'll bring a Vile Seed for a potential boss fight. Hope that it works. And we'll take out all our money so that we can open up these deluxe boxes and see what the hell they are. It was mm, quite the shock to learn that Neon is a human. But when I think about it, mm, I realize that it doesn't really matter at all. That's the way to think about it. I mean, I've been here for so long, being a human doesn't change much. <laughs> well, regardless, someone's coming back with Lock and Neon. Whether it be a giant dragon or a little Muna. Uh... Oh, whatever. From what I'm hearing, that Hydrogen sounds pretty dicey. Don't get any eating or anything, losers. He cares so much. Yeah, whatever. Come back if you're gonna give me some business. That Pokemon called Hydreigon sounds like a real monster. Be sure you're on your guard. Don't get too relaxed out there. You can count on us to hold down the fort. Good luck saving Mana. Like Moon, I keep forgetting. <laughs> <laughs> I love Scraggy. He's so real. He's just a little dude. Come back safe, okay? Baba. I guess I'll go ahead and uh, manage the team, take people off. So that way, it's just all set up and ready to go. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. I totally believe that Neon's a human, you hear? I'm not like Scraggy. No way. <laughs> He's just a silly little guy. I've been there, Mount Kilonia. Nothing much there. <laughs> it's pretty big. Gonna be hard to find Muna. Good luck! Vee-wee! <laughs> the only Pokemon I've known to actually eat humans is said to be Kurum. Huh. 
And we've already ran into Kurum. At least he didn't want to eat us. A new traveling salesman has appeared. To Mount Kilonia? It'll be another long journey for you, won't it? It seems like you won't be able to come back again soon. What? You're heading to Mount Kilonia now? The view is pretty amazing from the base of Mount Kilonia, isn't it? Nope. Never heard of them. I've never heard either name before. Muna, Hydrogen, they're new to me. What is it? You seem to be quite the hurry today. Oh, so you're off to save a Pokemon called Muna? I'm the Box Buster. Uh, box, open all these boxes. I've got deluxes. All right, watch this. Woo! Impressive, right? Here you go. Another Max Elixir. I'm never going to get rid of all of them. You've still got a treasure box. I can smell it on you. Come on, let me open it. Cute box, right? All right, watch this. Woo! And a person ban. Stops confusion. Not only treasure boxes, deluxe boxes. A box that is extravagant and opulent. It looks like something is inside. All right, open. The deluxe box, right? All right, watch this. Woo! And a heal seed. That's kind of disappointing. Another one. What's inside this deluxe box? A Pekka Berry. Not very deluxe, these boxes. Like, even if they just gave out, like, uh... What are they called? Resources. <laughs> Listen, Somniscope. And final... Deluxe box. I'm very disappointed with these. Be something grand. And a gold ribbon. Well, at least I got my money back from opening all those boxes. But they didn't seem all that different from normal boxes. All they did was put me at danger of dying by exadrills. But dang it, I do want to sell it. Why is it default to no? Because it may be... Why would I go into the sell box and press no to sell it something? Some of these are cool, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not in that dungeon, though. Ah. Uh. So basically, you need to only do detours in, like, super-duper dangerous dungeons. I love Rampardos' personality. You bring him so much personality. I'm happy to do that. He's just so happy to smash him. Let's talk to everybody that we can. Joby, the lot of you are going all the way to Mount Kelonia. That is a fair distance. Be careful out there. Mount Kelonia. Rock, if I wasn't born and raised there, I got plenty of family in those parts. Say hi to any of them if, they come, if they, you come across. I came alone for an early lunch today. That sweet mind Fu said that she would watch over the children for me and told me to take some time for myself sometimes. What a sweetheart. I have been giving her the completely wrong voice, that Mianfu. Hmm. I'm so glad to have met a friend like her. I saw Umbreon and Espeon getting up to something on the hill. So level with me. Are they planning on summoning one of them Magna Gate things again? When I went to the hill just now, I saw Umbreon and Espeon up there. They seem to be getting something ready. Indeed. Dang it, I already talked to you. Maneuvering myself is difficult in 3D space. An isometric view. Muna and Hydragon, hmm? No, I don't know anything about either one, I'm afraid. Sorry, I wish I could be more help. No problem, Swana. Just keep this place nice and going. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, I guess I should... Talk to you, see if you have anything to sell good. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. Uh, flash, struggle bug, nothing. I guess we could top off on that Reviver Sea that we lost. That should be it. Ah, but before everything, we need to go back to our 
uh, base to uh, do our training. Training, check the Orenberry farm. And everything. I'm just adoring this game. Like, again, so far the story has been very nice. It's mostly just been a slow burn. Again, we are like 20 hours into this game or so. And we've only, like, 18 to 20 hours, and only now have we met Muna. It's hilarious. <laughs> well, there is more 3D space in Super Mystery Dungeon as well, although the maneuvering is much easier in that game, I believe. Or it's the same with Gates to Infinity. <laughs> Either or. It's mostly me needing to actually get good at the maneuvering. It's just I'm so used to uh, the 2D games. <laughs> That maneuvering in 3D space is difficult. Will I get the breakthrough? Ah, oh, just normal. Sad. And Dragon Dojo leveling up for the boy. Level up that dual chop. Then we will go on a magical journey. Ah, uh, didn't get a breakthrough that time. Sadness. Ba, 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 ba. Wait, this game is just so enjoyable. And we'll go ahead and put all our money away. So that if we die out there, paradise can have a nice... A nice nest egg. Well, before we go, we should save. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And up we go. Hey, you all ready to go save Mana? I keep alternating because my brain always reads it as Muna, and before I stop myself from saying it, I, my brain goes, No, it's Muna! We've already assembled the ninja cards and everything. All that's left is to summon the Magna Gate. It's pretty far from here to Mount Kilonia. We'll get you there, but we won't be able to get you back using the ninja cards. I think it'll be a long road home. You better be prepared for that possibility. You sure you're okay? Of course! All right. Then let's get this Magna Gate open! Alright! Everything looks good from here! Neon, Locke, we're ready for you. Thanks, Umbreon, and you too, Espeon. Well then, everybody, I guess we'll be off. Hold down the fort while we're gone, okay? Yeah, and you two be careful out there. Don't do anything crazy! Once you find Muna, you come straight back, you hear? We know. We just gotta be careful that Hydrogen doesn't find us. We won't do anything. We won't do anything crazy. Let's go, Neon. Hmm. Good luck. Neon, look. Good luck finding Muna. Thanks. We're leaving Paradise in your hands, everyone. This is where things go wrong, isn't it? Somebody keeps having to fix that, I bet. Because that's the second time that we've done that, messed up their ground. Interesting. There it is. This is the entrance to the dungeon. If we can just make it through this dungeon, we should get to where Muna is. It's a bit scary to go without any backup, but... Let's do it! Just the two of us! Gotta get to where Moon is soon. Let's do it! Uh, you fight him. You have dragon moves! Use dragon moves! It is a dragon type, isn't it? Ah, yeah, there you go, boy. 
Well, this isn't good. Luckily, it didn't use a fire attack. This is some interesting music that's playing. Also hilarious that we're going to try and find Muna, who's being attacked by Hydreigon. We run into Hydreigon's first evolution form. As, like, the first thing. We're here to fight you. Die. This is some music. Oh, that's not good. We need to kill him. I say we leave that guy alone. Or do we? Maybe we could kill him. I'm talking myself into it. We have Reviver Seeds. Whenever I see, like, a, a sleeping guy, I think that he'll be a mini-boss in these, like, the Kling Clang. Okay, that guy wanted to murder me. Ow. All right, not that much murder, actually. Die. I thought there was going to be a bit more murder in that fire blast if it hit me. I guess all those uh, <laughs> irons worked out well. Uh, actually, you know what? I haven't been taking that much damage. Might as well just check out everything while we're here. Mm, we got a health orb. That'll be nice. Our being followed by a bitch. Aha, you fool. You could have fire blasted, but you didn't. Aha, my intimidation intimidated you into failing. Die. Intimidation is such a nice ability. Get dual chopper. That's not good. Good job. Locke is being intelligent. He sees an enemy and so he kills. All right, note to self, never go down that path. There's nothing there. That is the second time. That is just the... Uh, Upper left alcove of the early dungeons. Gotcha, game. You dare torment me? Die! Ooh, a level up for the boy, Lock. Well, that's not... Jesus! You kill him! Ow! You keep- you keep killing him, buddy. You keep going. You can get through the cringe, my boy. I just need to be careful. Look for any sparklies. There doesn't seem to be any sparklies. Well, actually, we can just stay in here and heal a little bit. Hello, Girder. Or not Girder. Um, what are you called? Conkelder! That's weird. Timber, Girder. What's a Conkelder? You'd think that he'd be called, like, Pillar or something. Especially because he's old. He needs pills to survive. Be annihilated. Vine whip. These dragon guys are kind of scary with their bites. They gnaw them out of my health, and I don't like it. Goodbye. Ru Ow. How dare you cast Fireball, you evil monkey! And then you failed. Haha, <laughs> die. Yeah, 
You are a mean man. Prepare to die. Get assured of your death. And a Kunkledur is coming. Ow. Double Ow. Come to us. Lots of enemies coming to try and die by my hand. My leafy, leafy hands. These exist! I didn't think that monster houses existed! Please wake up, please wake up, please wake up. Why would there be a trap there too? That's so mean. It's already bad enough that like there was a fucking monster house at all. You bastard in game. I would like it to be my turn, please. Slumber orb. All right. Tactics meeting. Get away from here. The one downside that I couldn't just, like, uh, take control of things. Alright, now follow me. Alright. Let's see, what other ones do I have? Guess I could do maybe that. Hmm. First thing, all protect orb. And all power up. Oh, team attack! I forgot that team attack exists! The one time that would have been perfect. And I don't think it would work good in this tunnel. Well, health orb, I guess. Alright, Dino. I have no idea what to name you, though. Eh, you know what? You can just stay Dino forever. Like, if I knew the radius of a team attack, I would... I completely forgot that I had team attack in there. And Orenberry. No, that's not good at all. At least I can kill you in two hits. If I remember team attack, I would have annihilated that entire room. I need to remember that next time there's a monster house. I was mostly surprised that there was a monster house. We've yet to run into one, and I was horrified. That's mostly why I got so shocked. Throw a blinker seed at enemies to make it so they can walk only in one direction, and use moves only on targets directly in front of them. Alrighty then. God damn it, there's so many traps. Is it not enough for there to just be, like, a monster house? But hey, we only lost, like, one Reviver Seed, I think. And that's only because the freaking game had a freaking diddly-dee 
sleep trap at the mouth of a monster house. I think that might be even more evil than most other monster houses in these games. <laughs> Are you gonna let Locke so fight some of them? No! Because that would me be me wasting a turn and letting them potentially attack the boy. It was better for me to stand there and try and beat them all down with the powered up orb statuses I got. Then try to swap in lock when that would do nothing. Like there's literally no reason to swap in lock because it's not like participation dictates experience. But okay, note to self. Monster houses exist, but team attack also exists and is the cure-all for monster house woes, probably. And I need to remember that. Now every single time I enter a room, I'm gonna be so horrified. If I see, like, a single item now, I'm gonna be like, oh no, is this a monster house? <laughs> I almost forgot about the water bottle next to me. We need more hydration reminders. Remember, everybody, stay hydrated and kill God. Leaf Blade, idiot. Ah, you kill him. Interesting, it's just a circle. Ow. I get it. Base attack of 30, but still. Hello, Ponyard. Go back to Pawn Shop Wars or whatever that show exists from. Kill him. Do not cringe. Become the cringe and kill him. Fine, I'll kill him. I meant to just look at you, but I'm a fool. I just meant to look at you lovingly. How dare you, scary face, my boyfriend. Die. Get annihilated. But yeah, at least that answers my uh, the question I asked myself a long time ago. Hmm, I wonder if this game has uh, has uh, monster houses. Yes, yes, they do. Monster houses exist in this goddamn game. Pain and misery is here for us all. How come it doesn't hurt your friends, asshole? Fucker. Die already. I saith die. You motherfucker. Hey, Ponyard, come fight. Apparently, the Wonder Tile can fix many things, but not insomnia. Induced by noise. Newsboy. No. News. News based insomnia. Uh, I think a lot of people have that. But noise based insomnia seems evil. How dare you try to kill me? Die. I just need to remember to use the team attack in the next frickin' monster house. <laughs> remember, everybody, when you get freaked out by a dirty trap in a monster house, remember to stay hydrated. Exactly. <laughs> Have we clarified Snivy Neon's gender as well as Locke's? Uh, the game uses uh, he, him for Locke. For the Snivy, we've, we are yet to know. And even though the Snivy is me, I, I do not want to presume. Would be rude, you know. Who knows, maybe the Snivy is non-binary. 
It's not like we had a choice because Japan decided, oh, the Americans don't need to be able to select their gender for this one. Just like, for no real reason either. Because in the Japanese version, you can choose you and your partner's genders, I'm fairly certain. But then when they send it out to the rest of the world, they're like, eh, you don't get that option. It's weird. You bastard. With the yawning status, the Pokemon will soon fall asleep. This status is particularly dangerous when enemies are around. Cure it with an item or switch with a party member. Kill him. And then I fall asleep. I'm here to kill you. Also very mean of the game to throw so many, like, pan seers at me. Isn't that, like, the least favorite Pokemon by, like, an actual voting that happened? The least voted for Pokemon was Panseer. And now we all know why, because Panseer is terrible. Just here to ruin my day. You leer at me. Prepare to die. A panseer is making off with my money. We'll have to kill him. Looks like we're gonna have to kill this guy, Locke. Damn. <laughs> That's how our future Devark begins. We kill somebody over money. Try to ins uh, assure and solve, or, or like, uh, and so I, my joke just got away from me, so we're just gonna forget this ever happened. Die. We will drown this pans here, so that the failure of my joke no longer exists. Hello, Ponyard. Focus on these nuts, why don't ya? Dino. You bitch. Like, what is this? Frickin' Hydragon's breeding ground. All of his children are here. I still can't get over how big those wonder tiles are. They are very big. How dare. At the very least, I don't have to worry too much about, like, my max elixirs, because I have all of them in the universe. The happy organization is going to come for me and be like, you're hoarding all the max elixirs. It's just like, I didn't mean to. It just happened. I just kept picking them up. I just got them from boxes. I didn't mean for this to happen. And we'll just head back. And of course, all the enemies were following behind. You kill him. You do not lick the boy. That's my job. Come, come and die, Ponyard. And now, for some reason, my brain went on a tangent of, like, why do we call it boyfriend and girlfriend? Probably because it would be weird to call them man friend. This is my man friend. John. And a Conkledur. Son of a fuck. And it has Wake Up Slap, too. I wish that I could alter my ally's tactics mid-sleep. I think that would be a nice quality of life thing. 
Well, that's just mean game. But yeah, that would be a nice quality of life thing if I was able to just go, hey, I can't do anything, but my partner can. Can they do thing? And the game actually lets that happen. You fool. Son of a bitch. Get Dragon Clawed, idiot. He's the dragon version of Santa Claw. Santa Claw. Santa Claus. Santa Singular Claw. I mean, uh, let's do the big. Aha! You missed, idiot. Lured you into a dragon claw, too. Haha! -ha. Moron, my box. Doesn't affect me. Now you die. Oh, hey, a sparkly. Two sparklies in a row. Granted, one was an enemy, but... Mm, Ha-ha, <laughs> 69. Venturing through a giant cave. Get those negative effects off. I guess we'll come up here a little bit. Should lead us to hopefully a room. Or it'll just send us all the way around. Eh, just a room. I guess we'll head back, because that's leading us very far away, and I don't want to get caught in another uh, monster house that I, if I can avoid it. Now, of course, there's multiple. Your partner is dead, and soon so shall you be. And now I can see a funny, like, joke comic for, like, Gates to Infinity in specific, where, like, uh, you're going through, like, the game, and, uh, you run into, like, uh, the elemental monkeys and you fight them, and, like, it turns out that it's that team of elemental monkeys, like, why are you attacking us? It's like, oh, well, we thought you were the evil monkeys that keep, uh, harassing us everywhere we go. <laughs> We never see you in dungeons. Why would we think that you were good? Ah, level up for the boy. And this is supposed to put us close to Muna. How dare you kick me in my snake. Die. Quick trying to kick me, you bitch. At least none of the monkeys have burned me yet. That would be annoying to deal with. Half damage in this hellhole. I think you can kill him. Ah, Dragon Claw got upgraded. Huzzah. Ultimate murder time. You know, I saw the item, and for a moment there, as I was stepping towards the item, my brain went, hey, what if this is a monster house? And my stomach immediately dropped in fear. Every single time I see an item in a floor now, my brain at the last second is going to go, wait, what if it's a monster house? like every single time we'll just have to annihilate all of them once <laughs> if it happens again through the power of team attack of which there it's going to be weaker than usual because it's only two of us shit how dare you trip away at me 
Again, I'm really enjoying the music. Still think it's overkill that monster houses have tons of traps in them, but still. And that they don't activate on enemies. Hmm. That would be nice game, you know, if enemies are affected by the same things I am. Man, you get t intimidated, <laughs> then you miss. Sucks to be you, Elemental Monkey. My power outpowers your power, idiot. I headbutt you. And then I pursuit you. Trivially, trivially, you could say. Hopefully this is not a sign of the Pokemon to come. Then again, we're heading to a volcano, so maybe I should have seen this coming. Oh, why couldn't I bring all my team with me? Espeon and Umbreon would make mince meat of these motherfuckers. Organize my inventory, because I can. Haha, you lose. Die. How dare you mudshot me. Die. Yeah, just a dead end. How dare you yawn at me? I back off so that my my pal can murder you. And now I fall asleep. And now I wake up. I have narcolepsy, you see. Brought on by enemy Pokemon. Why are they called Pokemon in this world? Or is this like a doomed earth scenario? Where, like, humans used to exist, and that's where po Pokemon pocket monsters came from. Then again, even before Pokeballs were really widespread, they were called Pokemon. I guess. Who knows? The world is weird. That's the wrong way entirely. Floor 10. Hello, Conkolder. Ah, you got double hit, idiot. You charged up your power all for nothing. Haha, -ha, you fool. Focus energy all you want, you're still gonna die. At least my tackle should level up soon. I should probably get this leer off me. In fact, not going that way, left is meaningless. It's the same layout again. I keep forgetting. Oh, I guess it's not meaningless. Darn you. Meaningless all this time, and then suddenly it's good. Monster, well, we can learn to move. I probably won't want to actually lawyer. It boosts your attack, defense, and accuracy. But at the same time, that is a uh, non-level up. I don't really care. Oh, a game? I hate that it defaults to the top of the list when I click no. I could make an accident, like decision. It's against my will and everything would be bad. Leap Blade. And now we head back to the line. Well, I guess first we'll get that off you. Motherfucking training seed. Yeah, because all the time this is the same thing. I guess there's going to be one. Nope. It's actually unique. How dare. Yeah, 
If only I had that when we were at the monster house. Man, my vine whip would just be like level 10 by now. I say in exaggeration. My brain is still locked on that monster house and how terrifying it is to know that they exist. You fool, I am no longer asleep. Can't believe Girder can become you. Alright, it's just the, the march of the old men, I guess. Sure. March of the giant, muscly old men. Yeah, you son of a bitch. And you yawn him too, you son of a bitch. At least we're getting boxes. Lift lead. You motherfucker. At least falling asleep away from enemies doesn't take too long. Our second death because of Monster House happened in there. You had a great adventure. You should rest now. No. It's, uh, pretty dark here. I can't see a thing. I guess we'll just have to feel our way through. I think this might be the dungeon's exit, but... Neon, you want to check it out? Oh, hey. Leafy Forest. It's dark out here, too! When did the sun go down? And how did we end up in a forest? How much time could have passed? I guess Umbreon did explain. Intercards call up dungeons by twisting around the ley lines. And you never know what'll happen when you do that. Maybe this is what he meant. Maybe the intercards can even affect time. They said we'd be able to go straight to the base of Mount Kilonia. So I guess this must be it, but... Well, that means Muna should be somewhere around here. And Hydragon. But there's no way we'll find them when it's so dark. We don't want to run smack into Hydra Gun by accident. I guess there's no other choice. We'll just have to camp out here for now. Unless we're in the Dark Lands, where light just d goes to die. It's a pretty creepy forest, though, isn't it? I wonder. How long do you think it's been since we set out? It would normally take several days to get to Mount Kilonia on foot. So we used the Intercard's try to speed up that up, but... That's right. I hope it hasn't been too long. If much time has passed, Muna might not even be here anymore. Muna. I hope she's alright. Well, I guess worrying isn't gonna help her, right? We should just go to bed early, so we'll be ready for tomorrow. Oh, but what if... What if Hydragon attacks us while we're asleep or something? No, I've just gotta stop thinking like that. If I start, I won't be able to stop. Sleep. We just need to sleep. Good night, Neon. If only there were three of us, then one of us could stand guard. Moon is back. Uh, mm. Dream time. Me, can you hear me? Neon, you're Muna. Are you okay, Muna? You're not hurt? Yes, I've somehow managed to keep out of trouble. You actually came to save me. Thank you, thank you. Where are you now? When you leave the forest where you are now, I think you'll be see a rocky area. I'm hiding in the shadows there among the rocks, but Hydragun just keeps getting closer. I can't move from my hiding spot, and if Hydragun finds me, please, help me. Help. Well, that's ominous. Muna? What happened, Muna? Are you there? Muna! Ah, ah, that was... I've got to wake Locke at once. 
Neon, what is it? Hydrogun? He's attacking us? Huh? He's not here. Oh, uh, maybe I jumped to conclusions just a tiny bit. So why'd you wake me up, Neon? It's still night, isn't it? I had a dream. What? You want us to go save Muna right now? Why all of a sudden? Dream. Oh, another dream? So, if we don't go right away, then Moon is gonna be... All right. It seems pretty dangerous to stumble around in the dark, but... It looks like we don't have time to worry about all that kind of thing right now. Let's go! My eyes have gotten pretty used to the dark by now. It looks like the forest continues on this way for a while. And beyond the forest, we should reach this rocky place where Muna is, right? We better hurry or she'll be in trouble. Let's go, Neon! This is some funky music. Of course, put away my money. Kind of funky, really funky music. Let's see what orbs we have. Foe hold, all power up. Some health, some petrifies. I think that should be good for, like, monster houses and stuff. Are you ready to go ahead? I am. Forest of Shadows. What the fuck, you bitch? All right, creepy music. It, like, it has nice moments, but then it has creepy moments. You dare leer at me? Prepare to die. Please die. All right, is this just the forest of dragons? I saw that Mizzy made your profile picture. I'm friends with her. Ah, hope she's doing good. It was a very, it's a very good profile picture. Hmm, hope stream is going well. It is. I ran into a monster house, and that's always terrifying. But otherwise, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity is so good. I love it. It's such a fun experience. <laughs> then again, the monster house would have been less scary if I remembered that I had a team attack. Ugh. <laughs> Double miss, idiot. And, of course, you yawn. You, 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 you monster. And now I fall asleep. I love the music in this game. Again, it's so different from, like, Explorers, but it's still just so good. Oh, I love it. Son of a bitch! Come here! At least we're all here. And it's not as big of a monster house as last time. Oh, actually. Uh. Alright then. Oh, wait, no. Matt. Petrifies all enemies on the floor. You know what? Petrify! Leap Blade! And a motherfucking sleep. Knock him out one by one. This one didn't even have that many, like, diddly dees. Oddly horrifying. I don't have Team Attack to do this one. Uh, that's the first thing I looked for. I'm like, ah, oh, damn it. It was too early for the Team Attack. <laughs> but yeah, literally the first thing I looked for was to try and Team Attack, but too early in the, in the dungeon to be able to do that. It was literally on the first floor. 
You mean bastard. Ow! Acrobatics hurts my face. I, we have we have orange berries for days. I'm gonna eat one. Yum. Oh, you son of a bitch! Game trying to separate me from my partner. We have frickin' monster house when I didn't even have a team attack. Because it knew my plan. I was gonna save up a team attack, save it from the monster house. Then the game went, ha ha. Not for you. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of this just so I can just have it be gone. At least it was spaced good so I could bring my ally in and use... A petrify ore, but still. Never got into the series before, but looks fun to stream. It is very good. It's like, again, like, until I started playing this one, the gameplay was always just kind of eh to me. But then, it, like, this one created a very good, like, gameplay loop. And now I'm just hoping that the story is very, very good. Because if the story goes good, this will be my favorite Mystery Dungeon game so far. Because the one thing I want out of a Mystery Dungeon game is for it to annihilate my heart and soul. I want it to rend my heart. Oh, hey, a Vaporeon. What are you doing here? Die. Ah, one away from funny number. But yeah, just like the one thing I look for in a Mystery Dungeon game above all else is a story that annihilates me. That is what I want. That is what I desire. For some reason, I thought that would last a bit longer. Whenever I fall into an enemy that stays asleep, even when I, like, uh... uh well, first I should, yeah, get rid of my slow and then start whacking him to death. At the very least, I don't have to worry about, like, resources too much. No more apples for me. Hilarious. If only the monster house was on this floor, we would have been able to team attack him. And now there's probably not going to be any monster houses for the rest of the dungeon. Which, honestly, I hope that's the... It started raining. Water moves will do more damage, while fire moves will do less damage. Regardless of a Pokemon's type, none of the Pokemon in your party will recover HP by walking while weather is not clear. Well, that's annoying. That's bothersome. A rough skin. Huh, I wonder if all of them have that ability. I wonder why rain stops us from automatically healing. It's like, ew, this rain water ha is getting salt in my wounds, or what? Haha, you fool. That's not how you use assurance. All you've done is assured me that you're a failure at life. Also, the, like, tent that... You jerk, kill him. That's not how you kill him. You have dragon moves. Or maybe you ran out of the dragon moves. Well, no, this is the first fucking floor. Well, first done, like, the first few floors. Still weird that rain makes us so we can't heal. Well, I might as well smack you because we can. Goodbye. For a moment, I thought that my team attack emblem in the top left hand corner that was flashing was something in the room with me. I'm like, what is that flashing thing over there? Oh, it's the team attack icon. And Locke is like, Neon, what are you talking about? Team attack? Dragon! Conkle Dirt come out of nowhere for with a steel chair. <laughs> with the slow activated, that guy went super speed. But 
But yeah, now I'm gonna start to fear that, like, once a dungeon, a monster house is gonna be a thing. Which, hey, I have a team attack, which I'm gonna say for once a dungeon, but still. Monster houses will always be a terrifying prospect to me. They have been the thing that annihilates me the most. Ah, just a dead end. I am a fool. For a moment there, it seemed like you just spawned in. Don't worry, we will kill you. Free you from this mortal coil. We've got the light box. Light Yagami is in here. If we get him out, then we'll get the death note. Well, that's just mean. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Why'd you throw s a sand attack at Locke, who couldn't even hit you? Aha! You m well, uh, not really missed. You're just a... Uh, intimidation got you beaten. Ah, you want to learn a move? What move can you learn, Locke? Dragon Dance. Boost your attack and travel speed. The problem is I'm not in control of you, so... And plus, that would go away if you walked over a... tile. So it'd be like, ah, reset to normal, which would be bad. You motherfucker. Kill him. Schmack, you smack him immediately. And then I fall asleep. How dare you leer at him. Prepare to die. Again, the creepy music. Like, it goes from cute, like, nice music to creepy music and back again. It's unsettling. Which is probably the point, but still. Well, I guess we missed the one way that led to the exit. So all the way down there at where we started, huh? We went the one wrong direction. Ah, oh, you wanna fight? You wanna fight man? Kill him! <laughs> well, not really long dungeon, it's just that it's multiple dungeons strung together. Kind of like the trek to Glacial Palace. We're here to kill you. Die. <laughs> I mean floor, but yeah. <laughs> that is true. Also long floor. Yeah. Well, it is the dead of night. Would you find nighttime music creepy or not? It's not really nighttime music as it is just... Uh, Buh, buh, buh. It's still like uh, unsettling, like specific type of music. You could have used a dragon attack, you know. Murdered him nice and good. Rude. But yeah, it's definitely not just like. Uh, Night it's not even nighttime music. It is specifically unsettling atmosphere music with like slightly whimsical unsettling music mixed in. Which all works good. How dare you chip away at me? How dare you chip away at him? How about we all chip in on you? Well, you're gonna have to die now. Also a reason why I never use Bide. Because just like, I'm going to take in power. Well, that won't do you any good if I just kill you. That's very mean, Vaporeon. Copy pasta attack. Damn it. Copy pasta attack. And then another one. Damn it. Hm. Become rule 34-able right now. 
Uh, you annihilate him, my accuracy is just gone to hell. Kill him. Kill him now before you fall asleep. Fall asleep to his screams. And then I'll just give you like a back rub. A massage till you wake up. Well, I guess we'll make our way to the exit. Shit, kill him. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Wrong button. I do a dance. <laughs> Kill him. You could use a dragon move, you know. You could... You dragon move. You're a dragon. Moves of your people. Plus, the force is called the Force of Shadows. There are shadows everywhere. Eh, not really. It's mostly just dark. <laughs> is it called the Force of Shadows because that's all we know to call it by? He's like, oh, it's a forest. It's kind of dark out. Why not call it the Force of Shadows? We get back to Post Town. They're like, oh, yeah, that was the Forest of Happy Dappy. In the Pokemon world, it's just a series of people renaming the same places over and over again. And not checking their sources. Vine Whip. Kill him, he headbutted me. One HP off from... Like, one damage point off from Funny Number. This is either going to lead to, like, the exit, and I'll have to leave because this is a long trek here. Or never mind, it loops back in on itself. How dare you dragon rage me. That's just fair, not very nice. How do you miss an assurance, my boy? He was going to die, and you missed. Why? Again, hilarious that we're on the lookout for Hydreigon, and, like... The Pokemon that make up Hydreigon's evolutions are here. And it's raining again. Again, weird that it stops HP from recovering. It's rain. I can understand hail a little bit. I guess it's meant to be like, ooh, the weather conditions are like so unpleasant that you can't really... Relax. That's probably it. Because passive healing in these games is probably you relaxing a bit as you go along. But then you, like, uh, throw in the unpleasant status of weather. So it's like, oh. Come on, come fight us. Damn it. Can also be like walking through mud. Yeah, that's kind of it. It's just that you can't really get a lot of relaxing and passive healing in an unpleasant weather conditions. How does throwing a rock at me do less damage than me head like just smacking myself against you? Come on, Vappy. Get smacked. Come on, Conkledur, we'll fight you to the death. For some reason, my brain went, and if I vine whip enough Vaporeons, eventually, I'll find one that's a sub. Brain just goes places. Oh, hey, Sparkly. It gave me an escape orb. Is it trying to tell me something? Oh, you're very mean. And you got rid of my main attack mode against you. Oh, level up time. 
Wait, isn't Vine Whip a uh, two tile range attack? I don't think so. And because we're blocked out, we can't use it for this floor. I'm fairly certain it's just right in front of you. Let's see. Vine Whip. Range front. Hmm. Well, I guess I could try it sometime, but I don't think it's a ranged attack. Damn you. <laughs> Must be thinking of another game. There are a lot of Pokemon games out there. Might be Super Mystery Dungeon. That'd be interesting. I can't wait to get to Super Mystery Dungeon. I want to experience all of these games. They're just so good. Not really the, uh... The WiiWare ones that never left Japan, though. Don't really care about those. Well, I guess... Well, actually. Uh, drink wall on the floor. Eh, we have a lot of... Well, actually, might as well eat you as well since I'm low on health. And we're not going to be picking you up. Might as well make use. But yeah, the next enemy that we see, I'll try to vine whip him from two tiles away just as a test. Would be utterly insane if they could. Nope. Sadness. Would be cool, though, if it was. <laughs> Heads up, uh, Super Mystery Dungeon is rather difficult compared to the other ones. One of the many reasons it's best for last. Ooh, boy. I will definitely, then... Good thing I'm playing it last, then. Oh, we're gonna come murder you. How many ranged attacks do you have? Die! We Nintendo 64'd them. I forget. What even is a Coalition Scarf? Makes it easier to uh, use a team attack. Hmm. When uh, one of your teammates holds this, it's easier to use a team attack. I think we have a few coalition scarves. Eh, but at the same time, like, uh, I'm sure there's something we can drop that's, like, worth dropping. Eh, not the orange berries. Like, honestly, it's, it's max elixir. We have too many max elixirs. I have over 50 of them! I haven't even been trying to grind them or anything. I've just been getting them. All right, they just want to go that way. I guess we'll go our way. How dare kill. And now I'll kill you. Ah, your amnesia is not going to help you. Die. Leaf Blade. I'm like a vegetation musketeer. And then I'll become a snake. Oh, hello. Didn't expect you die. I conjure critical hit to murder you. Oh, hey, a shop. I don't think I have money to buy the things I'd want to buy. Never mind, that's not even a vitamin. Well, that's just rude, Vappy. I'm gonna come murder you. Will you cease your corner spamming, you little bitch? How dare you corner spam like that? Then again, if I had the ability... You could sell the skull scarf, actually. That's partly why I grabbed it. So that... Maybe someday, or the, like, yeah, probably sell, because trading them at the trading post would probably be a waste. Considering the, or like the swap shop. I miss Crow Gunk. You'll be in for a wild ride for Super Mystery Dungeon, quite possibly the best of the Mystery Dungeon games. That's always nice to hear. Like, especially because, like, uh, out of all the Mystery Dungeon games, I've heard a decent amount of people kind of rag on Gates to Infinity, which I can understand to a bit, uh, a certain degree, because 
This is their first 3D Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, so a lot of things kind of had to be rearranged and cut a little bit. Like uh, how many starter Pokemon there were and stuff like that. But I've just been enjoying this. So I deeply, deeply hope that Super Mystery Dungeon is better, like even better than this. Because again, gameplay-wise, best of the Mystery Dungeon games I've played so far. Story-wise, it is going very good. It just needs to hit those emotional plot points. It needs to tear out my heart and punch it in front of me and make me cry. And then things will be very good. We will be very, very good if things go that way. I play the Mystery Dungeon games for emotional devastation. That is what I desire. Emotional pain. And on we go, level 10. We just spawn next to the old man with the pillars. Go home and be a family man. Everyone's just stealing all my items. I come here. This is my dungeon. I bought it fair and square by existing. You, a bitch. How do you like that? You just sit there, powering up your skills. And you still did nothing. Also, we should probably just beeline it through the dungeon because our bag is full. Haha, <laughs> Dragon Claw. Eh, since it's a on the ground one. Gulp, gulp, gulp. I probably should have given it to you. Uh, escape Orb isn't really the most important thing to us. Hello, Vappy. Are you a sub? I wonder if... The, well, no, because uh, for a moment there, I went to... I wonder if the reason I just can't recruit anybody right now is because uh, there's two of us and they don't want to automatically add one to the party. But no, they have the system be like, oh, you're on an adventure. Uh, be gone to paradise with you. How longer do you think you'll go uh, for streaming? Uh, depends on, like, how long this dungeon is. More than likely, this dungeon will probably be, like, a 15-ish. Because these streams have been going for, like, four hours regularly. So we'll probably get to Mana, and then a little bit after that. Get to Mana, and then a little bit after uh, Moon, I keep forgetting. My brain just defaults to how it looks, how it's spelled. But yeah, we'll see if we can find Muna, and a uh, little bit after that. I don't think we'll be able to go the full way of uh, getting back to Post Town, like we did with Glacier Palace. But we'll have to see. I went too far. Uh, yeah, let's just move along. But basically, with these streams, I go by vibes. I try not to go super long, but when it comes to games that I quite like, I am willing to go, like, for four hours. Normally, though, it's usually two to three, and we're already at three hours, 13 minutes. It's all vibes. Nothing's concrete. <laughs> I'm hunting the shiny leaves in heart gold. I want a crown for my Arceus. If I remember correctly, there's like a cheatsy way of like uh, being able to quickly get all the leaves for the crown. But I forget what it is. Hello, Vaporeon. Get whipped. Eh, of course you would. Oh, you want to join my team? Get out of here. Nobody wants you. 
I have enough elemental monkeys mining my stores. Which is kind of funny. Like, I, I, I don't ask them to do it. The building is just built. They show up and decide, we're gonna man this building now. On my land. We didn't sign a contract. We didn't make a deal. They just decided, this is my shop now, even though we, we paid Girder to build it. The Pokemon world is weird. It's like that one book said, if you build it, they will come. And they turn out to be shopkeepers. We are definitely taking this box with us. Goodbye, Cherry Berry. Well, first of all, let's move things around. We, we don't need this many escape orbs. Pokemon nature effects route hunt on the routes for the Pokemon nature. Yep, that's what I... I think that's what I remember is a being. It's just kind of funny because it's supposed to be like, ah, this is a mark of you and this Pokemon being really good together. When in actuality, it's just like, I used a guide. <laughs> You bitch. Get slapped, Vaporeon. And now my now my brain went into another direction again. My brain decided to throw out, let's hit that Vapussy. Cause brain is just I think this is a sign that I've been streaming too long. Brain is going in weird directions ever more quicker. Granted, sometimes that just happens. Brain decides to go in a direction, but it tends to happen the longer I stream. Granted, I also feel slightly lightheaded. But that could just be that it's slightly warm and the heat just kind of accumulated. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. While if things while your brain goes on trips. How dare you torment me, you bitch. Leap blade. Hmm, violent seed. We'll swap something out for that, probably. You know what, Max Elixir? We have a million of them. <laughs> Aha, your Aurora Beam. It missed. Goodbye. Ow. Didn't know that you learned Roar. Encourage Seed. Once again, Brain went in a, a direction with that. I shall not repeat it. The Vaporeon comments have already gone far enough. And that one was far worse. But what is an Encourage Seed? Makes all attacks sure to hit and boost critical hit rate. Well, let's see. What shall we swap for? Cherry, goodbye. <laughs> We're just gonna move over one. We'll get attacked once. Team attack. So it's not a sure hit, but it definitely does a lot. Oh, you want to join the team? Sure. No idea what I'll name you. Um... I have a potential name. Let's see. 
in reference to the uh, dragon story idea I got. Rolling around in my head, we shall call you... Malum. We finally got to do the team attack thing. Suck it, motherfucker. My team attack kicked your ass. Wait, what is this? Gravel Rock. But at long last, we managed to use Team Attack for what it's truly meant for. Utter annihilation of my foes. And another Violent Seed's probably good to stock up on. Well, actually, so we'll go ahead and... Om nom it and give it to the boy. Here you go. So team attack seems to be like an explosion. More than anything. So it seems that we can run into multiple monster houses in a row. <gasps> Neon! Over there! The trees thin out up ahead! And I can see some rocks! Still dark as balls, though. Hey, Neon, if we don't want Hydrogen to notice us, we'd better whisper from here on out. Muna should be somewhere around here, right? But Hydrogen is probably close by, too. We've got to be on guard as we search. If we spot Hydrogen... We should just hide and watch to see what he does first. I don't like splitting up slightly like that. Well, I, I see Muna. Neon? Are you there? Oh, was that... Neon, did you find her? You whisper, you fool! Whoa! <laughs> She's hurt! You're Muna, aren't you? Ooh! I I don't like the music that's playing. Like, it's good music, but it's scary. I feel like things are gonna happen. You're Muna, aren't you? Did did Hydrogen do this to you? Yes. Uh, we can't let Hydrogen find us, so we've got to whisper, okay? I understand. Uh, you're breathing really hard. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'll be fine. My wounds aren't as bad as I thought, and besides, I finally got to meet you, Neon. I'm so glad. Muna. I don't see any sign of Hydrogen. Where could he be? I mean, there's no chance he's nearby. And headed straight for us, right? I don't know, but we've got to move while we have the chance. Muna, can you walk? I think so. Then let's get out of here, quickly. We'll all go back to paradise together. We can't do that. Huh? Why not? Because, you see, Neon is... No! I'm done with the act! What do you mean? Neon is... Gonna get taken down right here. <laughs> okay, dust noir moment immediately! What? 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 Oh, son of a bitch. Of course. Triple shit. Oh, hey, it's that motherfucker, the Perugly. And the Toxicroak. Wah! <laughs> I finally caught you, Neon. <laughs> Good job, Lady Mona. What a masterful performance. No way, these are the dopes you are looking for, Lord Lady Mona. What a fantastic coincidence, Croak! We just happen to owe these punks a little payback, Croak! You know what to do, everyone. They're not getting away. Yeah. What? Muna? 
what's going on you? Why did you summon me to this place just to kill me? What's going on here? Why are you? I don't get it either. I really have no idea what's happening, but we're obviously in some serious trouble. That at least is clear. We've got to run. Neon, listen up. We'll only get one shot at this. Those Pokemon that are lighting everything up. Let's aim at them. Right. I'm on board. No time to hesitate. Go! Crook! Everything's gone black, Crook! Now that everything's gone dark, Neon, now's our chance. Let's run! I'd like we'd let you get away. After them! After them! Got it, Crook! Come on, fellas! Let's get them! Yeah! Did we just stay in place? <laughs> Stomp, squish. Rawr! Who was it? Which one of you stomped on my precious tail? Apologies, twas me. Thud. Oh! Everything's spinning, Crook! My head feels like I just split it on a giant rock or something. Well, that's kind of brutal. Giga! Was that you, Master Toxicroak? What are you doing, you ninnies? Just catch Neon and the other one! Don't you dare let them get away! Yeah. Well, I just want to know why. You summon me to this place, play the fool, and bring me to hell? You don't say we got split up, you motherfucker. <sighs> Looks like I managed to shake them somehow. But Locke and I got split up along the way. I wonder if Locke's all right. As long as he can keep running, he should be okay. But what a sudden transformation. I can't believe Muna is really... But there were all those Pokemon waiting for us. And the Pokemon that attacked Espeon were there too. There's no denying it. It was a trap. But why would Muna want to attack us? There's no one over there! Let's check this way next, Crook. Ah, uh, they've caught up already. I've got to get out of here, quick. Well, this is new. They split up the team. Fickle Ribbon uses different move moves to boost the critical rate. Huh. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, creepy. What's good? <laughs> ah. Everything is painful. I guess I'll take some. I'll, uh, I'll definitely need these because I'm going to be alone. Oh, yeah, I forgot, damn. All right, let's. Ah, uh, there's only one reviver seed, and well, better better take it, and not need it. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Breaking up the team like this before. Mm hmm. I'll explore a little bit. But yeah, the main question is just like, why would Muna bring a human to this world just to turn around and want to kill them? Throw a Tata seed at enemies to confuse them and make them use moves and walk around in random directions. Well, let's go ahead and get out of here. As much as we can, anyway. At least I can two-shot a lot of enemies, it seems. What did you miss? You missed a lot of things! We were betrayed and bamboozled, and now Locke and I got split up from each other! 
Well, here comes one of the longest 10 out of 10 songs in a row runs in, uh, runs in uh, PMD, in my opinion. It is a very cool music that's playing. I'm mostly just still locked on the emotions. It's like, ah, pain. All right, shop. Interesting. Maybe I can get an enemy Pokemon to pick up one of his uh, items and he'll start smacking them. Hey, can I hire you as a bodyguard? Can I send you after my enemies? All right, this is just a big old loop-de-loop -loop of doom. Please die already. The real question is, how long were they waiting there? Just waiting for me. So it's probably a good thing that we... Well, if we took the entire team, we might have actually been able to take them. Damn it. But it's just like, I really want to know the why. Because I just, uh, I was expecting like something, but I wasn't expecting a betrayal that quickly. The moment we meet in person, you decide I'm going to kill you. I'm honestly surprised that Muna didn't go for the Cresselia Gambit. Also, slightly disappointed that the random Pokemon we're running into aren't the same as, like, uh, Muna's minions. I think it would have been neat if we were, like, walking around, like, taking down a few of, uh, like, the Exadrills and Gigalints. So it's kind of like, oh, they split up into the dungeon as well, and we kind of smack them around and run away. I think that would add to the vibes. Again, better question, what's Hydrogen got to do with all this? That is also true. Because he was chasing Muna, unless that was a fake, like, visual. So is it possible that, like, Hydrogen is in on the no? Well, I didn't, uh, gather that many items in there, so I don't think I need to... Okay, more intense music, I guess. Wander around a little bit. Oh, hey, Sparkly. Throw a sleep seed at enemies to cause them to go to sleep, making it so they can't move at all. Run away or defeat the enemy before it wakes up. The Cresselia Gambit. Be such a disadvantageous ally that it actively hinders you. No, no, no. The Cresselia Gambit. You should disappear now. <laughs> Basically just a full-on... Hey, you know it'd be good for the world if you killed yourself. That's the true Cresselia Gambit. Oh, hey, Vine Whip leveled up a little bit. Yay. Ow, bastard. Uh, I finally made it out of there. I'm pretty tired, but I've got to keep moving forward. Uh, to a cliff. A, a dead end? It's a sheer cliff, and it's pretty far to the ground. I'm not sure I can climb down from here. Maybe if I can find enough holds. Hey, fellas, game's up. Neon's up here, Crook. Crook. We finally caught up to you, Croak. Looks like we're gonna be the ones to finish the job first, Croak! First? Wait a second. If they're going to finish the job first, then that means... 
We haven't caught Locke. If that's true, then I've gotta... Might as well give up, Runt. You're going down. Right here. Right now. Croak! I've got to get away. No matter what. I'm going to escape too, Locke. Well, first thing, all dodge. And second, and hope this works, petrify! So that the other two are bonged out for a bit. Leap Blade! Well, that's mean. Leap Blade! Mine whip. And I win. Through the power of orbs! Ah! Croc! Ah, I did it. I finally beat them. Now's my chance. I've got to get down from this cliff. Uh, but I'm so tired from running. My legs feel like lead. Crook! Like we're gonna let you get away, Crook! Somebody! Anybody, can you hear me? We're up here! Neon is up here! Son of a bitch. No, more of them? What now? Hydragon! Oh no, a salamance! Why is he on your side? Good timing, Salamence. Go after that little neon. No way. I've got to take on all these Pokemon by myself? Even without this, I had already used up all my strength. I barely have the energy to stand, and now this? Drill! Oh, hey, it's that moment from the opening! I'm dodging! I'm weaving! Uh, no! I'm gonna fall! They're coming for me, but... I can't get out of the way! Ah! Uh, who... Uh, is it Locke? Neon, please duck! What? Or is it Hyde? Who could it... Oh! Definitely not Locke! Suck it, Salamence! The boy! A uh, two is here! This Pokemon is... We are escaping, Neon. What? That <laughs> smacked me with the t A jerk? Well, I guess he has a plan. Ah! What? Crook! This song's also playing very good. Well, that was a thing. Roller coaster, roller coaster, nothing ever gonna stop. Uh, what? What in the world? What happened? What? Where am I? That's right. I, I fell from the cliff and. Mo, you're awake at last. Ah! Uh, Hydracon! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I startle you? I'm sorry, but... But I definitely won't eat you or attack you or... Or battle you or defeat you or crush you or... Or anything like that. No, not you, Neon. Definitely not. I'm telling the truth. Please believe me. Considering that he had us at our... Uh, at his mercy, I think... I, I, I think we can believe him. Besides, only person's word that we had against Hydragon was frickin' Moon! That's right. I remember now. When I was in trouble, Hydragon suddenly appeared. Then, I think he saved me when I fell from the cliff. Mo good. It looks like you've calmed down a little at least. I'm so relieved to see that. 
You were unconscious for a really long time, Neon. Unconscious? Yes, that's right. We are now in a small cave in the valley near Mount Kilionia. I flew all the way here carrying you, Neon. You are heavier than I expected. Honestly, I was exhausted. Just keeping the two of us in the air was tough. And then I chose the most hidden spot I could find. And I struggled all the way here. I did a really good job, don't you think? I would say we won't be found soon in a place like this. And you seem so very tired, Neon. You just wouldn't wake up, you know. I was very worried. But now you're awake at last! <laughs> he is a very joy cheerful man! I could never get my voice to be that gruff like you, Neon. It is one of my harder voices. It's like, I could go deeper, but those ones are like harder to maintain. Somehow, it seems like Hydreigon is not quite the Pokemon I thought he was. Now I'm really confused. The scene I saw in my dream. To be fair, I think Muna kind of deserves the attacking. That Hydreigon definitely gave off a scary vibe, but this Hydreigon seems polite and well-spoken. Not scary at all, really. That vision of Hydreigon chasing Muna was what started it all. Because of that vision, I thought I had to go save Muna. But when I did, Muna turned around and attacked me instead. And the one who actually saved me from her was... Hydreigon. I feel like everything's turned upside down. I'm ever so glad you're awake. After all, Neon, I wanted to meet you for such a long time. What? You did? It was you! You're the one that brought me here! Not Muna! Muna f Muna must have seen Hydreigon bringing a human to this world and hijacked the frequency to distrust. Aw, oh, shit! Motherfucker! You did hear my voice, didn't you? Back in the human world. Oh, come now. You can't tell me you've already forgotten, right? Hydrogen's voice in the human world? Wait a second. In the human world? It can't be. The voice I heard before I turned into a Pokemon. That voice was... You... You who can now hear my voice, might you be a human? If you are, then please, listen to my plea. I want you to save the Pokemon world. And then Muna broke in with the loud help. And every single time he tried to contact us, Muna probably did the same thing, sending that vision of Hydrogen attacking Muna, and then started to weasel her way in, the bitch! Does he really mean that voice really was? I always assumed it was Muna calling out to me, but it wasn't Muna at all. It was Hydreigon? It appears you've remembered at last. It sure was tough, you know. And just when I thought I'd finally gotten through to you in your dream, then Muna took control of my voice. And in the end, she went even further and showed you that terrible fake vision. She made you think I was the bad guy. My goodness, can you believe it? What? That vision was fake? So that scene I saw, it was something Mona made up to trick me? Then that explains why. I didn't think of anything of it at the time, but during that dream. Might you be a human? If you are, then please listen to my plea. I want you to save the Pokemon world. We need your... Hydrogen's voice actually cut off at exactly what I thought! And then it seemed like there was an interference for a second, like static. So that was when Muna took over Hydrogen's voice. And she was the one who... Help! That's right. Muna was the one who desperately cried out for help. And the scene that followed... That was the link at all to the image of Hydrogen chasing down Muna. That's right. That's exactly right. It was quite convincing, wasn't it? No, wait. I mean, it was terrible of her. Absolutely rotten. And ever since you came to this world, Neon, Muna and her friends kept getting in my way so I could never meet you. I was at my wit's end, honestly. But thanks to this chance... I finally get to talk to you in person. I'm so glad. Oh, it really is wonderful. 
so the one who wanted my help was actually Hydrogen. But even if that's so, I still don't get it. Why did Muna hijack my dream like that, using Hydrogen's voice to tell lies? She showed me that fake image and then tried to attack me, but why? Ah, I see. You still don't understand, do you? Please allow me to explain why I had to reach out to the human world and why I asked for help from a human like yourself, Neon. You see, the truth is that I... Well, that's not good. Oh, that's Salamence! It sounds like it's coming from inside the cave. I'm sorry, but I must delay my explanation for the moment. Now we need to run. We have to get out of this cave. But what about my friend? What about Locke? Think of Locke. Our enemies outnumber us by quite a lot. If we are found, it could be disastrous. I wish I could carry you and fly away like we did from that cliff, Neon. But I'm already exhausted after carrying you here. Forgive me, but I'm afraid I have to save my energy and not fly, unless it's an absolute emergency. Please, for now, we need to just run away. On the ground, I mean. And on another note, while I'm not exactly a member of your party, my mind is still in sync with yours, Neon. In other words, we can still manage a team attack together. I will also follow your lead when it comes to team skills and do whatever you do. Oh? Does it seem odd that I can use team attacks and skills like that? Well, it's because I'm a bit different from a regular Pokemon. But explaining that will take more time than we have right now. Let's just get to safety. Hurry! I still think I want to find Locke, though. It will be quite the problem if we're spotted. We'd better move on. And now kind of silly music is playing. <laughs> There's a harpsichord in here! <laughs> I fucking love this game so much, dude. It is a very sudden thing. Da -da 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 -da. I want to find Locke, though! My boy! The plot has thickened. Oh, that's some cool, cool art graphics there, man. Oh! This segment! I love this segment! This is cool. I like this. It's kind of silly, and then has, like, a cool halftime there. I love the music in this game. Also, I just realized... Out of all the Pokemon I chose as my partner, it was the dragon one. And now we have a dragon big boy helping us out. You are a... you are amazing. Also, I should probably go in, uh... Let's see, uh, cause you're... Follow me. Well, actually... Let's go together probably fits you good because you have ranged attacks. But oh, man. I love this segment, man! Like, honestly... If this song was a bit more intense and had that halftime there, I think the song would be so much better. Because that halftime, it's so good. Or at least I think it's called a halftime. I don't know. I'm not a music person. I don't know technicalities. Hydrogen, I love you. Were it not for the existence of Locke and Umbreon, you would be Bay. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to kill Dwebble. Goodbye. How dare.
But I'm just... I am loving this game. So much. Thank God that I killed him, because that much bide energy would have probably annihilated me. <laughs> As a music person, halftime is correct enough. <laughs> Huzzah! I am approximately correct. I mean, regardless of uh, who one picks as their partner, they eventually meet Hydrogen. But still, I just find it amusing that, like, my team is starting to come out to be oops all dragons. You kill him. What the fuck was that? It was shattered glass? I'm just, I'm enjoying this so much. Like, I was expecting there to be a twist at some point because, like, something has to go wrong. Fugitive arc from Rescue Team, uh, the Dusk Noir incident from Explorers. I didn't expect it to happen literally the moment we met Muna, though. I didn't expect it. <laughs> This game has the coolest lore in the series, by the way. I mean, it has uh, ley lines alone, which is... What the fuck? No! <laughs> I was like, I look at the trap. It is futuristic. I waver in fear. If you get separated from a party member, try switching the party member's tactics to wait there. This will make it easier for you to regroup. Why did it send me into a clone of the same room? Why do that when I can just do that? Get blasted, idiot. <laughs> Get leylined instantly. Actually, yeah, that would explain, like, the traps and dungeons. Well, at least more than just, like, ooh, mystery dungeons are weird and mysteriosity, you know. <laughs> That's hilarious. You just fucking blast a guy into a wall and spit fire at him. And also he can fly over gaps to do that. Cool. And a level up for me! But I'm leveling up without my boy. Normally that means that either he would have leveled up by now or... His level up would be soon after mine. Where is Locke? Game. No, game. Don't. Don't you dare, game. Don't, don't you dare, game. Don't make this be the Locke has an emotional breakdown moment, game. Where we're separated and somebody's able to whisper things in his ear. Don't you dare, game. <laughs> because the game has kind of been gently going, hey. What if things were bad with Locke? I don't, I don't, I don't, don't game. I can only emotion. Well, on the one hand, I say don't because it would hurt me. On the other hand, I play these games to be hurt by these games. But still. Don't hurt the boy. Also, I just realized, technically, my question from a long, long time ago of being like, hmm, if uh, Perugly and uh, the Toxicroak were chasing Espeon, who was chasing Umbreon? Now we know. It might have been a Salamence. Uh, again, this moment, this music. I love this game. Like, again, I, I, I expected, like, something to happen. But again, I just didn't expect it to be so soon after meeting Muna. <laughs> Neon, calm down. I am relatively calm, I think. It's just that story happened, man. Big story. Hit me in the face. We're here to fight you in your sleep. God, if that sent them just careening over the edge, that would be fucking funny. 
That would have been hilarious. Roar flies away. <laughs> this music reflects Hydrogen's personality in my head canon. Yeah, kind of silly. Kind of like nice section. And like this section. Do, do, do. It probably does. I mean, it it coming up right after we're introduced to Hydrogen has to mean something. And then there's this section, the silly section. Also, I just realized the boy uh, Hydrogen is not leveling up with me. Sadness. He's not getting the uh, experience markers over his head. You dare spit sand in my face, you stupid little dwebble. Die. But now I just want to know more about Hydrogun. It's just like, what's your deal, dude? You're like, you're trying to save the world. You can bring humans here. Well, that's bullshit. I want you to die. Yo, Hydrogun, kill this guy. I, I still want to know where Locke is. <laughs> I'm still worried about the boy. I just I love this segment so much. It's kind of like the harpsichord, the whistle, or flute. The music, man. The music in these games are so great. How dare you? Die. Again, how dare you? Die. Get crunched, idiot. By the power of the captain, get crunched. For the power of intimidation, we'd say Dwebble die. What the fuck? Like five million things happened. Kill this man. I don't have the money to get a vitamin anyway. Oh, try attack. That's what he's doing. That's doing the crunchy crunch. <laughs> Again, they're just going flying is hilarious to me. Ooh, he's a box. He's a very nice box. Ah, you got 69 by a bite. Sucker. <laughs> I didn't, never noticed until now. Hydrogen doesn't gain experience. I guess it's because he's technically not a part of our team. He's literally a guest star party member. He can do team things, but he's not officially a part of the team, so can't, like, level up and stuff. Makes me miss my boy, Locke. Just love this segment of the song. Why does Why does withdraw sound like a soda can getting popped? You get him. Ha <laughs> ha, idiot. That better not wake up the sleeping giant. Then again, the sleeping giant would probably be easier to kill than you. The badly poisoned status damages the Pokemon and is very dangerous. Quickly eat a heal seed to cure it or move on to the next floor and it will go away. Please kill this guy. Hydrogen. Hydrogen, the fuck? Stop using Roar, you dipshit. And now we're both toxic, you m moron. Why couldn't you do that before? 
Can I take away your roar? Like, it's funny aha to have, but... Well, probably I would be good if I actually, like, gave you things. Let's see. Uh, prevents bad status conditions. Let's use that. Better than using my heal seeds. Okay. You get your head in the game. Ah, a health orb to get the health orb. We use health orb, we gain a health orb. Haha. <laughs> Suck it, you stupid Amoogus. You're nothing more than an Among Us joke now, and nobody loves you. I think that the sound you like is uh, one of the iconic Noisy Croak pan flutes. Meh. Toxic, much more worser than poison. Yep. Noisy Croak being the team that actually produces and mixes the song since Sky. Ooh. I didn't know that they actually had a name. I thought it was like multiple different composers. Well, I guess technically it is multiple different composers. But I didn't know that they were actually a team. Super props to them. Because... And the harpsichord mixed in is so good. Harpsichord. One of my favorite instruments. Two of my favorite instruments that I wish were used more. Harpsichord and hurdy-gurdy. Those are the two instruments that I wish were used more often. Man, ever since Hydrogen joined the team, well, I guess, has joined me in not dying. Like, uh, the adventure has really, like, picked up for me. You son of a bitch. Well, luckily... I have heal seeds! Nom! And then, like, the chiming. The little tinkling bells. As well as it's like, it's super good. Ah, uh, kill him. Again, that's not double slap if it's multiple hits like that. Or like, if it's like, three hits. It's not double if it's three. That's like saying, ah, my one attack. And then you hit him 500 times. The composer team is different, though. Uh, Ayata Iyoshi deserves most of the credit for Rescue Team and Sky, and Kesuke Ito for Gates and Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Noisy Croak Arrange. Uh, arrange, produce, and mix stuff, bringing the composition to life. Because eh. I really do, like, I really, really like Explorers. Explorers is such a good soundtrack. Also, I forgot. Give. We yeah, had just like the music, man. The music of is always so good. I will say, Rescue Team definitely seems to be the weakest, like overall, musically. Even though it's still good, but Explorer's Masterclass. And this game, the only thing I think that's missing so far is that there hasn't been a hard-hitting motif yet. The music, though, is still very, very good. Just a repeating motif for certain moments would highly bring it up. Like, the fact that... In the Hands of Fate, played so often, like, during the main story, is what really, I think, cemented the Time Gear, like, uh, motif. Which is so good. There are other composers in there, too, but these two uh, alone have been in all their respective games. Hmm. Well, this is just, like, super cool. Welcome, welcome. I don't have any money to buy the things that I would care to.
Why don't you giga drain these nuts, you asshole? He is leveling up his uh, abilities, at least. Die. Quit flattering me. I don't want to be flattered. Wait, what did you say about my power band? Use of items has been temporarily blocked. Oh, that's what it is. The status will go away after a while. It will also go away by moving to the next floor. Man, this, this is such a cool experience. Because, again, I feel like the, the main thing that really has set this game apart from Explorers is the fact that you have story-important, like, partners with you. It's the fact that... It, it's, it, like, again, it would be like if you could take, like, Bidu for Loudred or Sunflora with you on explorations is what it feels like in this game. You have these story-important characters. They're just around with you doing things. They're important to the story, they're important to the characters, and you go with them in dungeons. <laughs> a harpsichord what? I don't know exactly how to describe a harpsichord, but a harpsichord is kind of like a... Uh, it's a different kind of piano-esque thing. Like, you know how there's a piano? And then there's an organ. A harpsichord is kind of in that family of instruments. But I don't know how to describe it. Like, uh, it's the violin of pianos, I guess? <laughs> Was Groval not story important, Sky? Uh, technically he doesn't count because he's just a guest star party member. He's not a character that's around for a long time that we get to, like choose to bring with us on things. He's a character that the story decides. It's like it, there's a difference between like uh, Hydrogen here and like Verizian. Because Verizian is a character that's important to the story, but we can choose to bring along with us on adventures. Hydrogen so far is a character that exists only like, yeah, exists due to the story, but is only brought along due to the story. It's not a character so far that we can choose to bring with us. Though maybe that'll change. Maybe Hydrogen will join us of his own free will. Oh wow, did you stream a little early? Well, I mean, technically I should have stopped streaming like, uh, seven minutes ago. Uh, that's still hilarious animation. But like, uh, I started at my normal time. It's just that, uh, Daylight Savings Time is probably still messing with things. I still start at 5, it's just it might be an hour off because of Daylight Savings Time for you, if your time didn't change. Bide all you want. Like in this section of the song, there's the whistle, the flute, but then that dun, dun, dun instrument is a harpsichord. Like, I have no idea how to describe it. Harpsichord's just nice. Oh, wait, no, sorry, my computer's clock was four hours off for some reason. Oh, hey, uh, that how long you've been streaming? B basically, yeah. Uh, four hours and seven minutes. Oh, hey, somebody wants to come and die. Ah, perfect. Dang it. Get blasted, idiot. I just googled what a harpsichord is. Completely different to a piano. A piano uses a hammer to the strings. A harpsichord has its strings plucked. But it's still, like, in the same kind of family. It's kind of like comparing a hurdy-gurdy to a violin. They're similar enough. Because, like, if you look at a harpsichord, you would think piano. If you look at an organ, you think piano. The overall mechanism that makes the sound may be different, but, like... It's like saying that a bass and a guitar... Well, I guess bass guitars exist, but, like... like yeah, sure, basses and guitars are different from each other functionally. But like, 
they're still very similar. Same thing with, like, a, uh, a cello and a violin. Reminiscent, if, even though they're not completely one-to-one. -one. It's like seawater and lake water, or like fresh water. Aka quarry. <sighs> it's gotten pretty dark. It must be almost nighttime. We've been walking a long time. It does take it out of you, doesn't it? There's no sign that we've been followed. Shall we stop here for the night? What about Locke? And the moon's back. It is piano-shaped-ish. Exactly. Even when we're this far away, the moon and the stars just look, look just the same as they do in Paradise. I wonder how everyone in Paradise and Post Town is doing now. I wonder... If Locke is all right, I hope he made it safely back to Paradise. If he makes it that far, he can get help from the others. I've got to do the same. I've got to make it back to Paradise. Neon? Neon, you... You must wish that you could go back to your home, don't you? But before you can do that, I'm afraid there's something I must ask you to do. Well, actually, I was thinking of uh, going back to my Pokemon home. Something I have to do? Destroy the bitter cold. If you want to know why I ask, should ask a human like you for help, Neon. Well, I'm afraid we didn't get to finish our conversation before, did we? I'll continue my explanation now, if I may. I love this song. First of all, I must tell you, the truth is that I am not a Pokemon. Are you a human? What? Hydrogen's not a Pokemon? Uh, well, perhaps it's not entirely accurate to say that I'm not a Pokemon. As you can see, I've taken the form of a Pokemon, but it is only a temporary form. In fact, I am the voice of life. I have never heard of you. I think I've heard of the bitter cold, but I didn't know it was from this game. The voice of life? The voice of life is the voice of all nature. Every last mountain, river, tree, and blade of grass in this world. It is an exclamation of joy and a cry of pain. When all those voices come together in a single united cry, well, that's me. Neon, right now this world, the Pokemon world, is teetering on the verge of destruction. What? It is the bitter cold, a mysterious body that has suddenly appeared in our world. As it grows, it eats away at the heart of the world and drives it toward destruction. This world is being destroyed? By this strange thing called the bitter cold? Neon, you have, that is, the true hope have. You've traveled to the great glacier from what I hear. Did you happen to see objects levitating in the air while you were there? That is the evidence of the bitter cold's power. Sorry, Umbreon, we have to destroy your great crystal. You're gonna have to put him down. Huh? In other words, the bitter cold lies within the gra Glacier Palace. The bitter cold is in the Glacier Palace? And it has the power to make objects around it float? Ah, if it can do that, then the bitter cold is... The bitter cold must be... They're floating! The chunks of ice are floating in the air! That's not all. There are other things floating here and there. So then it's true. Looks that way. We can't just chalk it up to baseless rumor anymore. The legendary Great Crystal that has only been up a story up until now, but now that we've come here, it's finally starting to feel like it could be real. The Great Crystal that Umbreon sought out with such a fire in his heart. To think that it would be a threatening the world with destruction. That it's actually this bitter cold Hydrogen is talking about. 
My intention is to destroy the bitter cold and destroy, destroy this world, protect this world. But there is something standing in my way. The one who stands guard over the bitter cold, cure him. Wh what? C cure him? He is guarding it, but why would he be in the way? He said that he never went to the, op like the opening. He's huge. Is he an enemy? Like he never went to see it. That Kurem is protecting the bitter cold? Kurem is able to see into the future. And if there's anyone who dares to endanger that future, anyone who would oppose that future, is defeated without mercy. Stoutly defending the future that has been decided, that's what Kurem does. That's what Kurem is. Defending the future that has been decided. That's right. When we were in the palace, Kirim himself said he had been watching over the future since days long gone and forgotten. So the future that Kirim saw, it was the world ending. Even knowing that, Kirim is trying to protect that future. A future of destruction. Muna and the other Pokemon who attacked you, Neon. All of them work for Kirim. Kirim and his allies wish to bring this world to an end. Yet the many voices in this world, the voices of this life, do not wish that. They are crying out for this world to be saved. And so I want to destroy the bitter cold, whatever it takes. But Kurem is not the only problem. The bitter cold is actually a manifestation of the negativity of Pokemon. A dense fog formed of those negative emotions surrounds the bitter cold. And that is why, if a Pokemon gets too close to the bitter cold, its spirit will be overwhelmed by that negative power. Still weird that, well, that explains what happened with Keldeo. Still weird that Keldeo came out of it being like, I'm going to lie and say that I never wanted to go to there in the first place to get away from uh, Verizium. Weird. Also weird that the negativity didn't seem to affect anybody else, really. Sure, it brought them to their knees and Kirim forced them out, but nobody was really affected by negativity. A power so crushing that it is difficult to even breathe. Could that be... Back when we... <sighs> Aren't we... There yet? That's odd. Why is everyone suddenly out of breath? So the reason why everyone is having such a hard time is because the Great Crystal told the Bitter Cold was near. That is why no Pokemon can destroy the Bitter Cold. And if no, not a Pokemon, then who? That's when I thought, perhaps a human. A human might not be affected by that Pokemon negativity. When I realized that, I began to broadcast my plea into the dreams of humans in an attempt to find our hope in the human world. And one of the humans who heard that plea and came to our world was you, Neon. You say one of. So that's what happened. I am one of the humans who... Huh? Wait, I'm one of the humans who heard that plea. That is correct. You are not actually the only human in this world, Neon. Many humans were able to hear the voice of life and come to this world as Pokemon. Just like you, Neon. What? They were? Yes, they were. They should still be somewhere in this world, but those poor humans, they are also being hunted down by Kurem and his allies, one by one. Muna lures them out, just as she did to you, and then defeats them utterly. I'm afraid that you, you are the only one I can depend on now, Neon. Okay, so, aha, uh -huh, that, aha. Uh -huh. Well, that's fucked. Please say you will help me. Please say you'll destroy the bitter cold. 
It's shocking to hear that there are other humans who came to this world as Pokemon besides me. But they're all being targeted by Muna's gang and being defeated one after another. But if all the humans who came here are defeated, what happens? The bitter cold has to be destroyed or it's the end of this world. Someone has to do it. Someone has to stick it out to the end. So then, I've just got to... Thank you so much. We, you and I, together we will save the world. Somehow. What about luck? And I think we have to stop there. We've been going for almost four and a half hours. I cannot justify going longer. That's a good stopping point. We got lore dumped. Oh... At least this is the most straightforward of, like, all the powers that brought humans to this world. <laughs> Fwind missing, though, exactly. But I want... He's been missing for, like, two hours. We can't go too much longer. And, like, it's getting late. And I don't... I'm not letting this turn into <laughs> to another finale of Ace Attorney Trilogy. That was an eight-hour stream. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> no, I am setting limits for myself. <laughs> Is Snivy Neon the only human left? Probably not, but the other humans aren't in a, like, a state to probably take down the bitter cold. Although that makes me wonder, why were they going after Umbreon and Espeon? Probably for the enter cards. Well, actually, no, literally for the enter cards. Perugly and Toxicroak mentioned that explicitly in the cutscene before we fight them. So they wanted that probably to stop them from researching away into the Great Glacier. Does that mean that there's a mole in Post Town? No, that doesn't make sense. They probably heard, like, because Umbreon and Espeon have been wandering around trying to perfect their intercards for a long time. But at the same time, other people have used it to get to the Great Glacier. Because Keldeo presumably did. The things for later. But uh, so much. So much happened. Muna is a bitch. Hydrogen's a good guy. Locke is missing. Uh, the fanfic potential of one of the humans sent to this world is unreal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see you Wednesday at 5. Yep. Because I am trying to keep to a good schedule of streaming. Streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. But yeah, th this is going to be, this is it, because we've been going for a long time. A lot of story happened. I am loving this game. <laughs> the story sure is picking up now. I do find it interesting that a lot of things that are kind of like disconnected are connected in a concise way. Kind of like how Swadloon ran into Espeon and hid the intercards in that segment. So something that could have been, like, its own thing wasn't. It's kind of like if a Zuril from Explorers, like, was tied into the Time Gear plot. Although, I guess, technically, you could argue that uh, Drowsy kind of fit the bill there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but next time, let's hope that we find Locke. Again, I am I am t I'm scared. I am scared of the game hurting Locke because too many like little foreshadowings of Locke not being all good in the head and maybe just being like, yes, really go forward, help people, but all deep down is hurting and depressed and is covering up to try and be good. Like I'm scared for the boy. <laughs> Effective storytelling. A little, yeah, definitely effective storytelling. It is also, it, it's just that there is like, uh, the only thing that GTI is missing is that kind of like secondary stuff going on. Things that aren't just the plot. But at the same time, considering this is their first 3D Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game, they probably had to be concise because they had to make all of the assets. They had to write the story and then make the story happen with cutscenes and stuff. So they probably figured instead of having like the Azuril thing and the perfect Apple incident, let's instead have everything tied together in a satisfying way, which is actually good. Yeah, I talked myself into liking it more. <sighs> but yeah, I'm loving this game. This again... If the story sticks the landing, this might be my favorite. Because 
it is just like it's going so well. This is so good. <laughs> Loving seeing you, by the way. Hope you're ready for next time, hopefully. But yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, my link tree, linktr.ee slash wings, has everything I do from edited content, YouTube videos, Twitch and YouTube streaming, uploading these streams to the YouTube streaming channel, from the art that I post on different social media sites to the stories that I write even down to my Patreon which is a little drop in the bucket donation diddly d everything is there so if you want to watch edited content YouTube videos which I swear I'm going to make more mm, as well as like I really want to do a Pokemon Blue Rescue Team retrospective at some point but brain is over ambitious but as well like the art that I draw similar to my little character in the corner I'm still trying to make a Sylveon PNG tuber nyeh, as well as like the the stories I'm writing the 20 plus Pokemon mysteries dungeon stories that just invade my brain and just like so many things all there in my link tree all the links to everything and again Next stream will be Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time because Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Remember, be you, be true, be happy. Just most importantly, be kind. Thank you very much, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs>